Next Speaker Podcast, your boy Shaw. It's your boy G Down. It's your neighbor Skeet. Hey, if you're watching, make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. If you also listen on any audio platforms, make sure you subscribe with us also. Or you can go to Revolt, check us out on the audio. Hey, Revolt, cut that check. We waiting. I called y'all. What's going on with y'all? We ain't going to play with y'all. Also, shout out to Big Gilt coming through last week for... uh, for a great interview. Dropped a lot of knowledge. Not a lot of Atlanta knowledge, man. Appreciate you coming through, bro. Yeah, um, definitely, man. We wish we could have went longer, but I'm going to keep it absolutely a buck. You know what I'm saying? Camera started messing up on us, so you know we had to cut it short a little bit, but shout out to him. Ski is back this week for some content. Y'all been asking Welcome for it in back. the comments. We got to give y'all this content this week. Get y'all some couple topics. We're going to talk mm-hmm. some sports. We're going to talk about some things also. Uh, and y'all been also asking for some relationship topics also. So we're going to do that this week. I, I be seeing y'all on uh, TikTok. We, we on it, and I've been going through it. So y'all going to hear something today. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, how y'all guys doing this week? Y'all doing all right? We living. Doing good, we man. Living. I ain't getting slandered. We ain't going to play, man. We ain't doing all that fake, like with some game show hosts and stuff like that. No more, man. What y'all think about Gunner? What y'all think about the snitch rumors? What y'all, not even the rumors, but things on social media that's been happening with when it comes to him. Some of my people are starting to pick sides. What you think? Okay. First of all, I, I, we, we told them from the beginning. We said, <laughs> okay. watch, how they, watch how they play out now. Yeah. Right. Right now, it's got to look like, I, I'm going to be real, 6 9 is realer than all of them. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 why you said wait that? Wait a minute. <laughs> he just owns it. If it, it like, I could respect the man more if they could just, yeah, I did it. He, you know what I'm saying? No matter if you agree with why he did it or right. not, he's standing on it. Ooh, he's he taking flights with a million dollars on him. Ain't nobody. Let, let's just start right here. <laughs> yeah. I want to never hear nobody call nobody a snit, bro. Because get what? Snitch is supposed to get stitched. You call somebody a snit, you supposed to be ready to go do something to him. If you ain't ready to go do nothing to that man, you don't even need to be having that in your car. He can say he cooperated. Right. But when you start saying, okay, he's a snitch, then you need to be ready to go do something to that dude. So you're that's, saying that. It's it, it like, we being like girls, bro. Like, we just gossiping. So that, that's all it is. So basically, we don't made it cool and normal to, now you can be a rapper and still tell on people. Well, no, I ain't not a rapper, that, but dude, you might make if you say, cool, if you say cool you're a street, I ain't made that cool. If no. you say you street and still can, and it's okay to still tell on somebody. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Because you saying, like, well, you giving 6 9 a pass. No, I'm not giving him no pass. I'm telling you straight up, I, I respect him more. It's still, he's still lame. He, right, he's still yeah, that's what I'm saying. It ain't that, you know what it is? Since it ain't that, I, I'm giving him a pass. Street stuff is just happening in actual real, like, in the music industry now. Yeah. It's snitches in the street. You know how many folks who's calling Gunner a snitch, mm-hmm. hangs with snitches? We acting like Gunner the only one snitched on the case. Factual. Like yeah. we got, like let's just let, 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 let's rewind. Yeah. Gunner is not the first one to snitch. No, definitely nope. not. He wasn't the last one to snitch. Nope. He just wanted the most money that snitched. Yep. Right. Point blank period. Yep. Well, That's all you and he's on video camera, but it's a couple more on video camera. But he got the most notoriety. I don't see nobody, hey man, I don't see everybody giving all that energy to the rest of the snitches. And not even just that. It's, bro. We really want to be for real. Mm-hmm. How many of y'all really think a lot of these rappers ain't snitching? Mm. We let Boston Richard say he, he focusing on his album. No, why he ain't on tour? Yeah, I thought that was the weakest. Excuses. He ain't focusing on no album. God, my boy preacher told you straight up, boy. You tell him, boy. He can't be over here with me. <laughs> I'm Jesus to these guys. Yeah. Boy, I can't. Nah, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. But I just be like, if we gonna get on Gunner, we gotta get on all lumber. We can't just single him out. I don't care if he is on tape saying, yes, ma'am. And I, okay, yeah, he is. Yeah. But guess what? He ain't the only one signed it. Guess what? His probation and all that is shorter than a lot of the other folk tell him. They're letting, like, literal murders, murderers off. Mm. Attempted I, yeah. murderers. They're letting them go. Mm-hmm. Just to tell on Thug, too. I think, I, think it, I think in any line of business, though, people are always snitching on each other when it comes down to business and money. But I guess sometimes it hit a little different if it's your real homeboy. Oh, it does. You get what I'm saying? It's different when it's your homeboy. Now, if it's just business and you just trying to get yourself out of a situation uh, that you may have been involved with with somebody that you met in a line of y'all doing business, that's totally different. No, 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 no. Huh? No, no, no. That's I'm going to be real with it. Like, it, bro, it I'm saying, you don't think, you don't think no, people on. snitch on each other in, in, the, in the line of business? I ain't just talking about on no 
on no game type stuff. I'm just talking about just business in general. The, people, it, 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 bro, if you you can go work a job at a factory, and if you tell them somebody in that factory, they calling you a snitch. Am I lying? Yeah, that, mm. Anywhere, anywhere bro, in life. Yeah, and I got to the point where kids, little kids, will t- t- so, so well, no, the reason another I, little kid want to tell them. Tell them. No, I'm saying the reason I'm saying that. They call them snitch. No, 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 Little little kids. But what I'm what I'm saying that that I'm saying that for a reason. I'm saying it's been going on. In business, but I guess it's just hitting a little different because. Yeah, but, but, you, but I'm saying you're yeah. saying it's a difference between no, it's still it's still snitching. It ain't yeah. it ain't okay because it's business compared to industry. Let me no, tell you it's something. Still uh, I would say so. It gonna be somebody mad in the comments again. Yeah. Guess what? Everybody hates snitching until it's day time. What they gonna have to end up snitch or go to jail? Mm-hmm. And yeah. everybody ain't got the balls or the coochie to say they gonna go sit down. They, yeah. they that point blank period. I don't care how street. Nobody know what they will do until they in the situation. I don't care right. what they say. I, even myself, I like to think I, I wouldn't get them tell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But get what? If I go and do something, like I know I'm not gonna tell if I actually was doing shit. Yeah. And I guess in Gunner's mind, he wasn't doing none of this. So let's just say he had nothing to do with. Or nothing. maybe he felt like no. Why yeah, did? Yeah. No, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna put it in a, in a good okay. light. Put. Say you got some motion. You you doing okay. whatever you doing. But you slit stop doing whatever you doing. But I get you. I know what your motion was. Right. But we ain't doing that. Though. You know what I'm saying? But you, you somehow you get bammed up. Mm-hmm. In my mind, I, I feel like you should tell the fuck I ain't got nothing to do with it. Cause you already know you're going down. You know what you done did. Yeah. Get me up out there. Don't put me in a, a situation to tell on you. Right. You know what I'm saying? But also now, that's me thinking of like, cause this is what civilian. People think mm-hmm. I'm telling you what a civilian person. Now I'm gonna tell you what I think. Got I'm not gonna get involved with you. Mm-hmm. No, you got all this. If, if I know you got something going on, I'm not gonna put myself in a situation to where I'm dealing with you to work. I could possibly get picked up and locked up with you because I already know what you. Do. Once you know what somebody got going on, then you put yourself in that situation. Use a lane. That's easier said than done though, because some of, some people they be they be going through it and they just. They they gonna do whatever they gotta do to oh, so survive. So but then when they when it come on them, then like you said, they fold. I, 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 I'm as, so if you know I'm out here stepping on stuff left right. and right. I'm, I'm but I I'm getting the, the problem solved. But Ski, what if I'm in a situation? No, 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 listen, okay, now, I get right. the problem solved. You gonna start hanging with me? Nah, no, cause I know you. Exactly. Right, right, right. That's what folks ain't using. They common sense. They just going right. with the motion. Right. But sometimes when the people go with the motion, cause they trying to get some money, cause they messed up. So, but, so hey, sometimes, we, sometimes no, no, that, that, that ain't no excuse. Yeah, what, that, that, no, no, that, no, I, I ain't saying that's an excuse, but and, 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 like I said, people out here dying for it, bro. Me, when, a, when, when it's your butt on the line, you can yeah. make an excuse for anything when it's your butt on the line. Yeah, yeah, but no, when no. it's that other, bro, everybody, bro, this is why you never heard me just go a hard. Like you know, I hate it six nine me. You know how y'all used to try to play right. it, man. It just was going. I don't care. I don't want to hear this crap. I used to tell y'all I don't want to hear this crap. <laughs> it, it yeah. So it's not like I'm sitting over here. And like I probably used to like sit nine, and now mm-hmm. everybody twelve and snitching. No, you, you always hated him. No, I don't like this dude. I ain't never liked him. You, so, true. but I, I'm gonna get that man. He just do though. He, he ain't never sit there one time and try to say he ain't no rat. That's true. First video back. He, never one. I told. And, and one of the main thing that hurt me. Everybody just focusing, literally focusing on Gunner. I could have swore I seen like a thousand other folk take plea deal, bro. Yeah. But mm-hmm. they they mainly watching who er, er, who's gonna unfollow Gunner. But I mean they watching him because that's who was with the around but, him and stuff. So do, do they we don't, really they, care a lot about people, a lot of people don't know no, them that's other, them other guys. That, that's not true. No, yeah. but why did that, that just go to show you even more? Do we really care about snitching? Or do we just really care about a famous person that snitch and we wanna just drag him? Cause Boston Rich ain't sold enough, so we ain't worried about him being twelve. Yeah, they, they watching Gunner because Gunner got We ain't worried we ain't worried about all the other folks on why I said that really ain't put out no music like that. Mm-hmm. And that told we're worried about Gunner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gunner. And I'm not I'm not yeah. excusing what Gunner did or condoning it. I just a fair dude. We gonna if we're gonna get on one, we're gonna get on all of them, bro. I don't free pick. Maybe some people feel like ain't nobody snitching because ain't nobody say no name, but like I said, once hey, you man, take a plea, anytime you help it the, is snitching. When you help in, the in prosecution, form, yeah. You're not helping the defense by helping the prosecution, period, point blank. Right. It is what it is. Yeah. Everybody who took a plea, they told. Yeah. There ain't no way around it. That it is what I it said is. That, it, it, you can accept it or don't accept it. But but they told. I'm just saying, like, let's get the rest of these rats then. Yeah. Uh, look, man, go and, and it, Hey, I gotta you say this too. I'm sorry. I, it, it's funny Dirt made that damn song. 
And then you tell on King Von? Like, black quit acting like you ain't. Like, all these folks ain't 12, bro. Yeah. Or like, we don't know they 12 because we like them. And I love Dirk music. I got blood hair right now. Folks say I'm trying to be like Dirk. So. But guess what, cuz? You told too. Ain't no way. I don't care if he is it. Telling this, telling. They know what everybody want to say. Telling uh, this, Allegedly telling. told. But go ahead. Huh? Allegedly he told. Man, that <laughs> told, bro. You know what told. Like, you're not going <laughs> to. Come on, bro. All right. Let's, let's I ain't delved into that situation like that. I mean, I'll get you, though. Well, yeah. well, you know, I'm all about that. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm that all about wrong. that Chirac stuff. So, you know, I. I man, Dirk Yo got some. Hey, man, that man, he doing his thing. I ain't going to hate on him. I'm just leaving. But y'all need to quit acting like Gunner, the only person I ever told, bro. All right. Okay, yeah. he told. Now, and really, it ain't nobody even been. Cause get what? The people that actually snitching around you, you're not gonna say nothing to or do nothing to. Mm -hmm. Just like nobody gonna do nothing to gun them more than likely. Just like they ain't never did nothing to six nine. It is just what it is, bro. These, these folks telling them they got money. Yeah. Once I seen six nine post his exact address, the exact time he was landing, how much money he had on him, and all of this, and nobody did nothing. Nobody did nothing. Nobody said nothing and all this all, all this stuff. Nobody. Six nine had people stop playing his music. Radio station somebody they ain't playing him. He was taking off a playlist. He was done all of this stuff. But but a lot of these platforms sitting up making excuses for Gunner, talking about, well, you know, like you say, you I don't know what you'll do in this situation. Or all this other stuff because we like Gunner. That's all it is. Yeah. Six nine came out the gate, this and everybody. He he hated on there. All your favorite rappers, he said, all your favorite rappers won nothing from from anybody you can name. Any if whoever your favorite rapper was, unless they didn't say nothing. He said they won nothing. He said they ain't gonna do nothing and all this other stuff. So guess what? When it came time for him, to, came time and he ended up going to jail for all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, let's be real. He ain't even. He didn't even do. He was just around. He didn't do no, nothing. How, how about he ain't even the biggest snitch on the case? He was the most famous, famous. snitch. And guess what? The people who he he didn't snitch on. I mean, let me shoddy. I would go question. Corroborated. He corroborated. But far as I know, I don't I think he do actually. Money, you can correct <laughs> yeah, me if I'm. No you can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think he actually snitched on Shadi. Shadi took a plea, right? So oh. that means he never testified against Shadi. He just testified against. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. He, he, he testified. But CEO Chris, dude, the one who really. Was yeah, but I'm saying on the ones who did was committing the crimes. Six nine did not text, testify against them. Because guess what? Once Shotty took a plea, he walked out of the out of the, the courtroom and said, uh, Treyway, whatever he said. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bad, but man. that means 6 9 did, uh Gunner oh, took a plea also, but he had to say, I did this, I did that, and the gang was such, 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 such or whatever. My point is, is this. Nobody did now. We just making excuses for Gunner because we like Gunner, bro. Straight up. And two, let's be real. Uh, Gunner wasn't even in the, the car that was rented to go. To go shoot up to kill the guy who was whatever. He wasn't even gonna, around him. He then. wasn't even around there. Gunner wasn't even around. He wasn't. Okay, what? If they ask him questions about that, he, he wasn't around for that. He wasn't I, around. He can say, "I don't know." Yeah, I, I think, and, and, I'm, and I commend everybody. And look, if if you felt that way about six nine, let's just say if little baby felt that way about six nine, and he went and unfollowed Gunner, I commend it because you're keeping that same energy. Yep. Let's not forget, Lil Baby got a song with 6ix9ine. He got, he got a song with 6ix9ine, huh? He got a song with 6ix9ine. Yeah, on his first album. Lil Baby on 6ix9ine, first album. Lil Baby was messing with 6ix9ine. Oh God, well, I never heard that crap. Yeah, but, the one that went crazy through the roof with all that stuff on that Tati and all that. Lil Baby on there. He ain't know no better. But, <laughs> but, no, that's your boy. No, he knew yeah. better. Nah, he ain't know no better. He knew he better. Ain't know no better, man. Mm -hmm. he said, man, but that. The, all, hey, man, your favorite rappers are telling. Nobody wants to go to jail. They got too much. How are you going to go from penthouses? Got dang BBLs, <laughs> three fives, all day long, and putting money to you. Yeah. So now I'm in there with that hard bed, waiting for no slide that tray and none of me. Man, you got me. That, <laughs> <laughs> that what these folks thinking, bro? Like, yeah. see, you know why it's easy for her to say, "Oh no, I wouldn't snip. Why I take my time? Cause we ain't never had nothing. Mm -hmm. Right? We ain't seen what these dudes are seen. They got something they don't want to lose. It's a lot of folks who we know they're telling. They just don't want to lose that that that, that hood hoe. Mm -hmm. Come on, like we gotta act like we know we in the real world. Like everybody else talks, man, that ain't. But how many of us really know folks who don't just held it down and went? The only time you don't hear about uh, telling is when they caught they caught the case by themselves. Mm -hmm. Yep. When it's a group catching the case, it's always gonna be somebody say this, somebody told. Yep. You're not, I, and if you use the street.
You know, I'm, you know what I'm saying in real. You know, can't nobody go to jail without trying to say somebody told on them. Like you just wasn't bad at what you was doing. Yep. That's why, bro. I never. I, I, I look at the rap game. I commend little baby. I commend me, Mia. Who else? Our father next said Polo G, right? Yeah. I, I can't commend you. You could have did it when he first got out. Y'all waited some weeks. Well, that could be a lot of different things. Maybe not. What, what you waiting for? I mean, you, I'm not going to go check and see who I follow like that. No, but I'm saying everybody in sequence. Little dirt on follow. So did y'all have right? a meeting about? Hey, we're gonna we're gonna quit yeah. messing with this, huh? Did they all just have a meeting one day? So we're gonna quit messing with this. Well, we don't know. We, we like let's be real. As far as what I know, I mean, once Young Thug unfollowed them, it could be wrong. Maybe that was fake or whatever. But I, but I, I heard Young Thug unfollowed them, mm -hmm. and then that's when the dominoes started. Yeah, I heard this was the sequence. Dirt Snippet, Lil Baby, Thug. Then it went um, Meek Mill, Mill Polo G, yeah. um, whatever his name is, yeah. um, Polo G, yeah, and probably um, everybody else. I'm like this man. Hey, you gotta call him. You gotta call him what it is. Like, yeah. it is what it is. You just gotta stay prayed up. Gonna one out. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Stay prayed up on these food. They college go, is, college is, uh You gonna get the blitz? He, he spoke too soon. Huh? He spoke too soon. He should just, just he just just laid low. You know, he came out and he was like, "Yeah, uh, I do think that hurdle yeah. too." By even just why did saying he just, anything, it, it, it's what's the point of saying something? I guess he might, he might just been anxious to try to get back in the free world, get his, get some music out, just get back in the floor thing. But it's like, hey man, you, you really supposed to be trying to figure out what they're gonna do to your boy? That's really you know your what boy. I would have did before I would I, I would have made a statement. I would have dropped a song and let that explain whatever. But it, you know, it pertains to all of this. He should have mm -hmm. dropped the song pertaining to this, like mm -hmm. explaining himself. And then whatever happened after that happened after that. But guess what? You would have got views. You would have got, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody would have kept on looking at it and stuff. Yeah, I, I think. But I don't think it's going to stop him musically. I, I say, let, let, let's go to that. Wait, wait a minute. It stopped 6 9 Let's be real, though. 6 9 been popping since that happened. Yep. I ain't heard nothing. So you think he, this he go overseas and make money? Yeah, but we ain't talking about overseas. What, what you tell me, we talking about here. Oh, well, right here, then he ain't gonna do. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna do too much. <laughs> <laughs> so right they here, probably ain't gonna work. Cause they ain't gonna be able to cut too much. I mean, I, he I, definitely ain't gonna have no features. <laughs> yeah, 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 he may not. I, but I don't yeah, know, bro. But you know what? What's what gonna be crazy? Yeah, when they try actually come about, and, and folks actually gotta get on that stand, and we start seeing some of your favorite favorites get up there. Like they don't folks don't know how messy they're finna be for real. Like y'all y'all focusing on Gunner right now, but that might just be the small like it, it might not even be what's gonna break your heart. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying okay, so let's let's go to this musically. Do you think this really would affect his sales and stuff like that? I, yeah, I, I think because he's they gonna have to actually make real live. Like he got he got to catch I, listen, white I think base. so. I think so. And you gotta think. What I'm saying is you got some of the top artists. In the game that's unfollowing him. Once artists don't want to work with you no more, for whatever reason they don't want to work with you no more, it's kind of hard for your people, the people that's backing you, to like get you them songs that you may need or get that help or boost that you may need. I mean, let's, it's not like Gunna just like a living legend or nothing like that. He need features. You know what I'm saying? Nope, he need I, I he need he other do. people support. He need his people, meaning the industry people. If the industry people ain't supporting your music, you ain't gonna really make it like that, bro. I'm just being real with you. You need the industry people to support you no, too. You don't, young boy, they be you pushing. Don't fuck with the industry, well, young boy. Well, now, he, he, that's look, a different look, breed. Look, I ain't gonna argue look, with you about look, that. Look, he he look, different. He different. I'm gonna say to that. But Gun ain't Gun ain't young boy though. Gun ain't young boy. To go that did little dirt. He dissed you. Diss everybody who calling you twelve in a song. But you can't go at all of them. Yes, you Why can. not? Young boy did. Good fifty cent. But he not. He not. He not. He not. He not nice. No, like we, that. we. He's not known for that. Like, right. We don't know what. We don't know his rap capability. We just know he like rap about clothes and stuff. But if he wants to start talking about he, uh, picking up that well, fire, I mean, I mean, if, if, if he keep going the way he's going, like, he ain't gonna have like, no choice but to do it like, like that. Just like he cooperated. You, you think it's still gonna don't know about some of the other brothers that don't cooperate? They just don't say, oh, maybe some gay stuff. Like, bro, it's so much stuff like he could possibly know about but some if of he, these if he, if he vent on things that he know about them, then that just goes to show what he really, what they think he is anyway, right? 
God, they, yeah, they, I mean, they, they shitting on him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, once, it, it, once the gloves off, they on the floor, bro. So, I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? You go at me, I'm going to go at you. Yeah. Now, I, I, I will. He messed up. Just by, the whole thing is just messed up. He should have just went ahead and took your little time. But who am I to tell you to go take your little time? God, I'm not your daddy. I'm not your pa. Right. It ain't affecting me what you did. So, and the only people that really should be bad. I listen, I don't, people, Jeffrey takes care of. Right. I don't want people to get. I don't want this to get lost in in, in the situation. He mm-hmm. didn't do nothing. If we being completely honest, right. he didn't do anything. He just affiliated. He was just yeah. affiliated with them. And they tried to the pitch stuff time. to him. As far as the music, I mean, man, we've seen artists who don't really need the industry like that. Plenty mm-hmm. of them. Key Glock ain't never did a feature. He ain't never had a feature on none of his projects other than Dolph. Young boy never cared for J Cole. Every he don't he don't want all their artists to go platinum Kendrick without Lamar. features. Kendrick Lamar don't need features. There's plenty of artists out there who don't need features to do what they're gonna do. I'm not saying Gunner one of them. I don't know if he is or if he ain't. Right. He don't necessarily need the industry to be to be successful. You know what I'm saying? I'm just because we could, we got examples. If we, if we be real, he weren't really in the industry. But he, anyway. but he, you know, he was on his no, way. It's, it's, it's listen, different levels of industry. We, the, we the, talking about a Drake. What he songs? He's not in that Drake arena. Songs. Right. I, I'm not saying that, but songs that he was featuring on with different major artists, it was he, he was, was steady climbing that ladder no, no, of being yeah, an A-list artist. Right when he was hit. on his way because I he was getting that. that support. Is what I'm saying. He was already an A-list artist. You think so? Once you debut number one, you're an A-list artist. You, once you sell over a hundred thousand, yeah. what I always said, you were you were you were a list, you went you were an a list artist. Once you throw over a hundred thousand units, I don't care. It's today's music. I sold hundred thousand in the first push, week. Like I feel like yeah, the, yeah, okay. the yeah. butt were really finna get pushed on him right now. Bro, pushing P yeah, was the saying of the summer, bro. No, like, no, no, I ain't. Yeah, that, that but he caught shit, the Rico. Yeah. Huh? Right he just caught the Rico and it slowed yeah. things down. Like the yeah. song was nominated for a Grammy. Completely pushing P was nominated for a Grammy. Right. I mean, that's why I said he was on his way. Yeah, he was. Why I was really about to have a two headed snake up there. Yeah, in yeah. some ways you could say Gunner was Gunner on a selling records level was bigger than Young Thug. Young Thug never sold more than hundred thousand copies. He just ne- other than so much fun, but his yeah. punk album only sold like fifty, sixty, some thousand. Uh, 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 the last album that Gunner just came out with sold like one forty, bro. He sold more than Dirk or some something like that. If I ain't mistaken, Gunner. He, and Gunner we, and we putting Dirk up there. They did all the He's not on album. Gunner's level. Gunner, 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 Gunner was like, they were like, damn. Gunner, Gunner, yeah. was looking at you like, damn. Gunner up here. He yeah, like, Gunner, like, like, we can't like. I don't know how y'all looking at rappers, but Dirk was not record wise on the Gunner level, bro. Like, no, not as far as selling yeah. records, he was right. not on Gunner level. Gunner surpassed the boss. Just like Pooh Shice surpassed Gucci Man in the record sales. Yeah. Same way. Mm-hmm. Gunner surpassed the boss, bro. But you know, Punk came you know, out and did not do that. See, and it's, I, I, it's the world's problem. We think because an artist is visible, he's successful. He's successful. That's my yeah. point, bro. I don't care how much we see these niggas. Right. Who, who, who was actually, and, and, and don't get it twisted, I'm not talking about, you know, because I know you're more so of sonically what sounds. Yeah. I, 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 you're not a numbers guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm more so, when I'm, when I'm this is my area right yeah. here. When, I'm, when we talking about who is successful, you got to, there's no other way to look at that other than numbers. No other way. I don't right. care about how many. Whatever, because that, that's the case. You can say the city girls doing the same thing Gunner them doing, and they ain't, because we see them all the time dating different niggas and stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Gunner was moving units, especially mm-hmm. that last album. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas ain't moving units like that man was, bro. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, he, it's about do his fans care that he snitched? I see that stuff. That's the question. But, I, that's but, we, that, know, but we know who buy music. We don't. We bootleg it. So he still got that support. They don't say thing a bootleg now because everybody stream. But you know what I'm saying. If, if well, you listen to me, go ahead. I, I, haven't, I still hear Gunner being played. What I'm saying is. Me too. Okay, let me just say it. What I'm saying is white people, they'll still go online and purchase. We do We're too. Not, I mean, I don't purchase. Yes, you do. How? What you listen to music on? <laughs> what do you listen to music on? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, no, no, no. I'm, just, I'm being so serious. What you listen to music on? You know what I listen to. What, what, what though? The damn Apple Music. So you buy music because you paying ten ninety nine a month for Apple for Apple Music. That goes to. But the what, what about the people? What about the people who don't have Apple Music and they just go to YouTube on a on a net on the phone? They pay for the. They internet. pay for the internet. That, oh, that, well, that YouTube means... gets broke down now into to record sales, bro. All of it they getting paid for, my nigga. Every single one of them. YouTube, everybody. It's, it's no different. It's no different than me and you got a podcast, right. and then they pay us for Google Ads. It's the same thing, bro. If you go listen to a song on YouTube, guess what, young boy is getting money right. from that ad right. that's played right. before the video comes on. So guess what? You're still buying music. There's no way to bootleg music in 2023. Nah, but you know what I'm saying? Like when 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 they say, okay, this is gonna drop. And then they put a price. Like people still selling stuff on Spotify, stuff like that. All of but that they be like, one. buy this. 
like we don't directly just buy it. Okay, yeah, we buying it because we we buying uh, an app that plays everybody albums. So of course that's that's like you said, all that's mixed in together. I'm just talking about like actually saying, hey, I paid. Nineteen ninety nine for his album. That ain't what music. That music don't do that. Music can't like that. Though, that's what I'm saying. Music is streamed now. If you choose to go do it the ancient way of going to iTunes, that's what it's called. Yeah. And buy the whole <laughs> album from nine ninety nine. That's on you. It's no different than you listening to a song that accumulates to fifteen hundred streams, and that's one album. You and 1,500 I mean fifteen hundred other people go listen to a song. They accumulate that as one. Album. I, that's why. That's why I hate streams because that really take away what a person really selling from their entire album. Because a nigga can be going platinum just off like certain singles, but what are you doing as a whole album? They yeah, they, they accumulate all of that. We got to move with the times. If you sell fifteen hundred, if you do fifteen hundred streams, that's one album sale. If you do uh uh, uh fifteen hundred singles or whatever. That, that's how it's broke down. If you do yeah. one million streams or whatever, they break it down in that type of way now. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We got to evolve with the time. We can't sit up and say, oh, well, they doing streams, so it ain't like how we was we did this and that. No, just at the palm of your hand. They get paid for every single thing now. Because the thing is, I see more rappers now with big jewelry, big chains, different oh, types yeah. of whips than we did when we, when we was little yeah. and niggas was actually getting paid for uh, 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 their whole album being bought out of a store. So we can't sit up and say they ain't doing what the rappers used to do back in the day because they doing more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah, Snoop Dogg sure. said one time on the interview, he the most he ever got for 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 a show back in the day was fifteen thousand dollars. You making a hundred thousand dollars show? Boy. You can't even Having book big, baby man. for less than three hundred k for a feature. Damn. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just that now the music is different. Ain't no such thing as bootleg. Ain't no such thing as bootleg, bro. You, it, there's no way. Go find me a person. Well, I got that new bootleg uh, gun. Nobody, <laughs> where? How? Nobody yeah. bring your CD unless it's still on it. it yeah. Like how? It ain't even no CDs no more. Your car <laughs> don't even come with a CD you, no more. Hey man, scam a code. Yeah, yeah, it's just that now that I broke it down into a, a formula to say if you do this many streams, that's an album set. If you do this many, this, this and that, that's a single. Cause they getting paid from every single way. Per, they, they got rid of the ringtone. So get what they did. Oh, we are gonna pay them off of YouTube now. You know what I'm saying? They got rid of this. You, you do streams and this and that. Gonna move unit. When they say this man sold a hundred thousand first week, that man probably had a uh, uh, three hundred million streams, mm -hmm. and it's tearing up all all the websites. He's he, that's how people get talked about. I seen Faze on Love on Vlad TV, mm -hmm. sounding so old and 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 not even like in tune with nothing going on. What do you what say, you man? This oh, streaming ain't real. That ain't real. And Vlad like, so what? Where, where they getting all this money from, Phase On? Man, I don't know. <laughs> but it ain't it ain't what it used to be back. Man, shut your ass up, man. <laughs> like they, let these kids live, man. That just yeah. like like. I like niggas as we speaking on shit. They don't have no clue what the fuck going on, bro. That just to be true. But hey, anyway, Donna. Final conclusion on that, sir. What you think? He told, but he ain't the only one who told. So, I, and I, I'm not calling nobody a snitch. They cooperated. Yeah. My advice is lay low. My last thing on this is this right here, man. We got to stop. And I ain't finna go into a whole long soliloquy, but I seen, I seen uh, D.L. Hughes say some real stuff. We got to stop sitting up there. And because we hateful towards each other so much, we sit up and make... We, we sit up and, and put stuff on people that white folks call loopholes. If this was a white person, would nobody in the mafia be sitting up there saying, not a gun situation, but let's just talk about like snitching on the dead and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If that was a white person, they'd sit up and say that was a loophole. Oh, but, but he got out of that because he had a little loophole where he told on somebody who was dead that it's not. We can't not. win, bro. But we, but if somebody black do that nigga snitching. Man, y'all niggas, so y'all niggas just well, be ready, bro. Tell you, it's okay for Mexicans or white people to tell on you in the prison system, but you can't tell on nobody. That's crazy. Because you're going to be, we're the only people that, that have put it out there that we don't talk to the police. And I, I, I don't say, if you if you mad enough to go strain your bed, there's no reason for you to goddamn and call the police. I understand that. I can respect that. I, I, I wholeheartedly. And if you're out there playing in the street with certain people, then guess what? Don't call the police then either. But don't talk about keeping street when you're steady on the internet. Yep. Because the, the street, there is no road on the internet. Mm -hmm. So if you're talking about keep it street, but you're putting it on the internet, you're an idiot. You want to go to jail. Yeah, I agree with that, man. Um, speaking of, but off of that, off the bat, so that let's just go to get in this real quick. 
Young boy, Kodak Black, squash the beef, man. Let's talk about something positive. Uh, shout out to Young Boy and Black for doing that. They got on the FaceTime or whatever. And I don't know if it was ever a true beef. I think it was mostly hip hop type beef. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that was dope. You know what I mean? I think Young Boy really on his stop the violence stuff. Yeah. Um, for Yak to do that also um, shows a lot of growth, man. What you think? What y'all think? I, I, mean, I feel like everybody really, they see what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Why make something that it ain't got to be? Both of you, both of them have been to prison. Mm -hmm. Both of them have lost valuable time. They could have been out here making even more money. Shoot, they did. That, you know what? No, for, for however crazy they act, they showing common sense right now. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the word of the day. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, like I say, NBA young boy definitely showing growth. I mean, even in the beef with Fredo Bain, he just been he just been moving differently. I don't know if because he married and got a child or what the case may be, but I mean, wh whoever he around, he around the right people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and and uh, you can see it, man. And like I say, I, I think rappers, um, they for the future, they will be moving a lot smarter. Seeing all this stuff that's going on uh, with the Atlanta rappers with the YSL case, I think rappers will start moving a little more smarter. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think it's dope. That, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, he, he, yeah, I think young boy is showing a lot of growth. Man, I seen he invited people to his house and have a snowball fight. Man, he was out there laughing, giggling, and 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 like it was just a different side of him. Before mm -hmm. somebody hit him dead in the face with a snowball, boy. I'm talking about one of them, one of them hard snowball that bust as soon as it hits you, like <laughs> the one that the little ice stick to your face a little yeah. bit, like it hits you so hard like Still that. There, yeah. He just laughed it off, and I was like, oh, that's dope. Like he, you can see that he is growing as a man. Like mm -hmm. and and speaking on the marriage thing, I think look, we, we you know we meant to touch on that last week. We ain't got to yeah. go de deep into that, but I thought that was dope for him to get married. Mm -hmm. You know, um, for him to make that big step. And get that. That's a he more of a man than me. Yeah. He been a bad little boy. Call it what it is. His career. Yeah. It's like yeah. he been just a bad little boy. But that, that that little time in jail, he got to sit down, detox. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Folk were, were throwing little shots at him when he first got out, so he made this song. But now he realized, like, hey man, buck the Kodak Black John. Yeah. That by three three and, and Fredo being right there by each other. Yeah. Man, that beer right now. So yeah. that showed me, yeah. I, I ain't even seen him squash them with nobody else. Yeah. I saw that. You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest thing he could ever do right now. Cause all his fans, that's what they definitely pinpoint or, or keyed in on. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. And he's showing, hey, I, I'm making all these children. I ain't just putting the keep making them. I'm going to go ahead and lock them up, lock on down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to the uh, young boy, man. Sports, man. LeBron about to pack a ring, about 300 points away. What y'all thinking? They 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 doing a lot of interviews with Brian. They call him the GOAT now. I just seen him do, you know, I seen a lot of people. I seen Stephen A. Smith on me and all of a game saying he just said his great said his second greatest player of all time. But if he pack Kareem now, okay, I'm gonna have to think about it now. <laughs> I'm just telling you what the man said. Nah, now. I don't care what that listen, he I don't do, care listen, what um, I watched it. LeBron great, man. He, he you know, he 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 doing him. He's setting records that it's gonna take, you know. A long time to pass, but I mean, I think the group that's with, that that's behind him, if they can stay healthy, uh, that record can be broken a lot sooner, a lot sooner than how it got broken with Kareem from his time to now. But uh, it's still not a. Oh, that's oh, go ahead. What a minute! It, to me, it's he still he he not the goat. I, I, I mean, they, they 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 even interviewed him, and he said none of that none of that stuff don't mean nothing to him if he ain't winning with it. It don't it don't it don't mean nothing to him. That, I mean, that, that, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying the record don't mean nothing. Don't get that twisted. I mean, that's a milestone, bro. Like, damn, thirty. He may even the way if he keep playing the way he keep playing for the next two years, he may be the first person to hit even forty thousand points. Who knows? But um, no, nah, I don't think that'll put him just because you pass Kareem in points. I don't really think that'll put him past Jordan because if you just look at the statistics, I mean, I mean, hell. <laughs> Anybody who passed him in all time points, they had to play an extra six or seven years. But, that, 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 that's just like we gonna take away what Barry Sanders did. Just <laughs> are we? Are you gonna say Emmitt Smith a better running back than Barry Sanders because he the all time leading rusher? <laughs> is 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 Tom Brady the Tom greatest Brady, quarterback boy. ever? Hey, man, because he got the you, most you know passing yards. I'm talking about, field, I'm talking about talent wise. I ain't trying to veer off in no Not other than else. 
You know how, how I feel about your field goal kicker. Um, um, you know, <laughs> get a chair. No, Tom Brady got a field goal kicker arc because that's the only time he went. So, <laughs> but now, <laughs> but listen, but listen. Not to get out subject, but just go back to what you said. Now, I don't, I don't think that'll make him the goat. I mean, I don't even think it'll put up no, no bigger argument than the argument that we already argue about every day now. No, I don't think that'll change. It is my opinion. He'll be the statistical goat, but. He's still gonna be number three on my list of all time. Who's first and second? Huh? Who's first and second? Mike and Kobe. And Kobe. Okay. But the reason he's he done made it number three on my list, cause he did everything he did with less shots. So I give him like less shots and played longer than him. That, that, that's kind of that that would balance out that he played. Cause he can't, you can't just say he played a long time and that's the reason cause he took less shots. So we got we got to give him that. Now. Bless him, Cole. But but hold up, but that go ahead and bless him. Still an extra seven eight years on though. less to shots. shots. What, what point is you That's why he's on? leading in assists. He might be up there in rebounds. Like, he's going to be top five or top ten in he's all gonna be number six categories. And assists. He's going to be number six assists. So, number that's why I say he's the statistical GOAT. Can't nobody put up a stat line like LeBron. And I've been saying that for years. Can't nobody put up a stat line. Like he, he's the offense in themselves. Guaranteed. There ain't no way around it. But, like, does, that, but, 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 but does that put him in front of Mike? Like, but does it put him in front of Mike? Oh, let me finish. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Oh, but, like, he'll be the statistical GOAT. Because you ain't going to name nobody better than him. Besides Kobe and Jordan, you're not gonna say Shaq better than him because you're gonna say Shaq got fat and he could have won more. So you're gonna you're gonna look at that like he he let himself go. KD ain't did nothing without Steph Curry. So really he bandwagon one or he just KD ain't nothing but um, Tracy McGrady if you really think about it. But actually KD was the he was on the fastest pace to get to those points um, until he got that Achilles injury. He like like you know how they say. Patrick Mahomes is on the fastest pace to no, he coming wasn't. to all time. No, he wasn't. Who are you talking about? KD was not. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. LeBron is the youngest to do everything in the, in the, in the NBA other than Luka Doncic. No, they already talking about LeBron. They already so said that. Be LeBron came out of high well, school. Talking about, I don't know if they said in, in his first, like, six or seven years, Le- he KD, was on the faster it, it, it's pace. It's not even possible because KD just started averaging one-tenth of a point more than LeBron did this year. So it ain't even possible for that to be the, the No, K, no KD got like KD got KD like two scoring titles to LeBron one, right? Yeah, but that don't mean nothing. So that means he he had to score he couldn't have well he, he couldn't just been his first year or just only beat him by one point. If no, he got two scoring titles. KD just now, yeah. last year, this is a fact. we got phones in him. Just now this year started averaging more points for well, last season than LeBron James by one tenth of a point. Twenty one point seven for LeBron James, twenty seven point two for KD. That's a fact. Career because, average, right? Career average. Oh, you talking so, about so, career? Okay, you talking about career average. So, 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 so guess about, what? Okay. That means that LeBron James has been more consistent than Kevin Durant. Because LeBron James came into the year, league a year earlier than KD did when KD came out the year of college. KD has never even – KD, right? he's not even on pace. Nobody in NBA right now is even on pace to break this record for at least 30 years. Nobody. You can't say Zion – Morant been hurt. Steph Curry ain't even in. Ain't, ain't, only thing Steph Curry got more than about twenty. Up, bro. I think KD was on the pace. Man, I bet the difference on that was broken. Hmm. It'd be about it'd be about a generation that never even watched him play. Just like we, we we'll like never see that. That's what I'm saying. That generation is some, it's a generation. It's gonna be like way yeah. after him. It's gonna be like a twenty year gap, thirty year gap in between somebody coming up close to that record. Right. Cause sports medicine hopefully be better. Right. But he did all that. I say all that to say that. he did with less shots. And he leads in all other statistical categories. So, how I might like another player, and you know what I'm saying? Woo, 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 wah, wah, wah. I can't put nobody over LeBron but them two players right there. Because when I watch them two players play, I like how I feel like LeBron can play with anybody on the court. Mm-hmm. And he can just about little boy than I'm with. they being more athletic. Or he's mm-hmm. just smarter than them on the court. He ain't doing it with no two players right now. No two players, I don't think he can outthink and. Out hard, nope. you know what I'm saying? Nope. But the rest of the NBA and uh, players, like, yeah, he better not though. Yeah. Well, but it, but like I, but like I said, it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't gonna make no difference because first of all, Kareem always had more points than Michael Jordan and the same amount of rings. But nobody ain't never had that discussion of saying uh, Kareem is the goat. They always talk about Mike. Or Shoot, some of these new players. Yeah, they, they, no, they, no, 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 no. Some, some of the old school long. players, no. Some of the old school players, yeah, they'll say Kareem and Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Russell uh, for the rings and stuff like that. But no, like, anytime we just talked about from, from this time back to Mike time, they always talk about Mike 
and one of the new school players. They don't never like, you never just hear Kareem well, in the I, conversation. Okay. And he had six rings being the all-time leading scorer. So what's going to make LeBron different with four rings and being the all-time leading scorer? What's going to make him different? Oh, for me, less shot attempts, longevity, they the like both had longevity. Kareem played 21 seasons. Too. Kareem, I, 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 I'm going to give you right here. When y'all go after this, if, if, you, if, if I drop Kareem in today's game, what is he doing? <laughs> we don't know. What, what, what do you think he would do? He would be probably just a... Because I know what I think he'll do. I mean, bro, it's a different game now. And they are running up and down. But right. guess what? If I drop LeBron back in the... We can go from what, 70s, 60s, 80s, 50s, 90s, 40s, whatever the NBA LeBron score. will be getting buckets, and he probably done brought one of them niggas back out there. Cause everybody was skinny, wearing low cut, fucking all how tall, how tall is Kareem? 7'2. Y'all don't think he would affect the game in this day of time? I ain't saying that he won a ball. He, Kareem was just. No, I'm not saying he won a ball. But that sky hook, put it like that. Who you think the best big man in the NBA right now? To me? Yeah. From the eye test, Joel and B. Jordan. No, 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 no. I'm about Anthony Davis when he healthy. Right. Well, okay. When I, he healthy. I, I, I'll let you go. When he healthy. Do Guess what? He's not. Nikola Jokic is the best motherfucking big man in the NBA. That nigga can play every position. He's a walking triple he's available. double for, for sure. And he don't get right. You can't never tell if he's flustered until one of y'all niggas do some, some bully shit to his ass. That's mm -hmm. like how y'all always talk about his skill set. and all that. He's the tallest point guard in the NBA. And he's a white boy. Like, what, 29, like, 9, and 10, right? 29, 9, and 12? Come on, man. Like, okay. that, that's the best. Jokic stay hurt. Jokic don't be hurt, but uh, Embiid stay hurt. They but I, stay but hurt. I, I understand that. I just said Anthony Davis was the best I, I, when I, he's healthy. When, I feel like if everybody's healthy, Jokic is a better player than all. Stop. And I feel like Jokic will give that nigga Kareem buckets. I didn't say that. I don't know. I, I don't they think, both slow. I don't, I don't know. Think, exactly. But I don't think Kareem. Jokic wouldn't block no hook shot. Huh? <laughs> he, he not no shot blocker he, like that. I don't think, he not going to be able to back him down to do the hook shot. He going to be shooting that hook shot from the free throw line all game long. I like my chance <laughs> for him out there shooting a hook shot. Oh, yeah. uh, he ain't going to put me in that paint. And no. then I can definitely drag him out the paint. You think he can keep up with Jokic shot down the perimeter? Man, like I say, it's a different game. That's why I said Kareem played LeBron under, can play under, every position from the in the set. If he's in the seventies, he could play. Center. Okay, so if you put Shaq in this time, he wouldn't dominate every center. In yeah. his peak, that's in the peak of his man, stop. You said, what, 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 he turn around and do that. It's offensive foul. He gonna elbow him. Shaq played with his bows up. Go look at Jared Dudley and all them goofy ass niggas shot with crunching off. He didn't need no bow, he didn't, but he didn't need no bow to move a nigga though. He he did, but that, that's what they got. He would have dominated. He would dominate these niggas. No, like, I'm not saying he wouldn't have dominated. Like he would. It would have been then Jokic and none of them and be he would have been smashing. So Shaq them. gonna come out on the perimeter on Jokic? No, no, he's not. He, he didn't come out on the perimeter against yeah, well, other put, other centers that was on the perimeter. On that fucking other floor. centers didn't play in the perimeter back then. No, look, I look. Get what? All they gotta do is put all shooters on the floor and Jokic. What is Shaq gonna be able to do to him on defense? No. If everybody, okay, if you try to cap up on now, the KG, my bad, KG, Tim Duncan, uh, McDice, them people that he was guarding, no, it wasn't. they were shooting jumpers. No, they were. They were shooting threes, but they were definitely shooting jumpers. KG was a power forward. Shaq didn't have to guard KG. Shaq never. Tony on McDice power forward. Yeah. Tony on McDice power forward. Tim Duncan. Shaq was guarding top. Shaq, see, did, Shaq definitely had to guard Tim Duncan. Bro, Shaq was guarding <laughs> top of color. Hold on, bro. Motherfucker like that Matumbo. Uh, Sean Bradley, Patrick Ewing, Hakeem, I'm not, and David Robinson. Those are the only three. Hakeem shot jumpers. Game. Patrick shot jumpers. He shot a he shot a jumper. For, nigga, they did. Shot, That's a come fact. On, Everybody, they, they, they had to get the ass out of that paint, bro. He he, he wasn't guarding none of them power for it. And once Tim Duncan came into his stride, he wanted to get the well, hell. No, 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 no. Real sin ain't gonna come past the free throw line anyway. They do now. Well, yeah, yeah, the now. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me, but but they ain't got nothing to do with Shaq being able to dominate if, if you running offense through the center. Okay, first of all, no powerful, no, no, no centers back in the day shot anywhere outside of 17 or 18 feet. Other than Hakeem Olajuwon and Patrick Ewan every now and then. And even if you use that 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 uh degree of of uh, analogy, we seen what Shaq did to them. We seen it. We seen what Shaq did to David Robinson and Tim Duncan in the NBA in the West Coast. And we seen what Hakeem did to Shaq. But go ahead. Okay, yeah. And then early in his career, he was 23 years old. Later on in that career, Hakeem can hold a count when he was in Toronto, when he was in uh, 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 his later on years in Houston. When Shaq and knew. later on, Hakeem was old. So Who you win? Can, when, when, by the time Shaq got to the Lakers and he was that guy, Hakeem was old. Hakeem came in what year? I don't 
Oh, King came in what? So uh, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. 84, my bad. Right. All so right. King was playing in what, 2000, 2001, right? Right. Did Shaq go to the NBA Finals? Correct. Okay, then. So who Shaq had to go through to get to the NBA Finals? He had to go through the Rockets. Exactly. My point is, Shaq was dominating them later on in his career. Shaq was yeah. young. Y'all used, the, y'all used the example for, oh, he was young. Did this no, now? No, he still went to the NBA Finals. Let me think. Yeah. Yeah. When Michael Jones lost to the Boston Celtics, did we not on this podcast say, oh, he was young, he played Blair Bird, them, right? Yeah. Okay then. So Shaq was the only play Hakeem in. And even then, Shaq had a better field goal percentage of Hakeem in the finals that year. And he only he only averaged one point less than Hakeem. Because I went back and looked it up. Also, okay. nobody back then, as far as said, we seen what Shaq did to Tim Duncan and David Robson. The game was played inside out, bro. Quit acting like these niggas were shooting threes way back then and stuff. No, I didn't say that. I said jumpers. I never said three. They point. shot a yeah. 15 foot jumper maybe twice. Other than that, Patrick Ewan, Hakeem Elijah, and David Robson all played with their back, back to, to the, the basket. basket. Plain and simple. Everybody knows that. Or now, to emotions. LeBron and Michael Jordan, which was the conversation of the yeah. whole situation. Yeah, like, I, it, that's why I said LeBron. Hey, nigga, I've never been the one to ride LeBron's nuts. Cause they no, I like them. LeBron, but I'm just saying he, that, that, that ain't, I mean, the, I don't think the argument going to change from the question that he asked. Other than, other, oh, when we talk, about Kareem, when we talk yeah. about Kareem, the only reason why we don't put Kareem above Michael Jordan because his game wasn't pretty, bro. He shot a sky hook and that was it. That's true. That was it. Other than that, he got everything more than Mike. That's a fact. Other than, other than probably assist. Or steals. That's it. Every, other than that, he did more points, more rebounds, more everything other than Mike. More minutes played. I don't know about all defensive teams than Mike. Kareem, I don't, I don't know about that. He I don't know if he defense, got more defensive yeah. teams. I don't know about all that. Well, but, but that's a secondary yeah. award. But I'm talking about, I ain't talking about awards. I'm talking about st- st- statistics. Awards don't account for statistics. Awards yeah. count for accolades. Uh, and when it comes to statistics, he, he got more MVPs. Yeah. More, he got the same amount of championships. He yeah. went to more NBA finals. He, he 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 got more points and all the other stuff. The only reason why Kareem do not get mentioned in that in that, in that stratosphere is Michael Jordan is because his game wasn't pretty. We usually look at the guards or the fours as far as he was. Oh, they they, he, they they the greatest of all time. Look him. But right hold up, now, but hold up now. Larry Bird and Magic Johnson had a pretty game. They still put Mike in front of them. I don't know where you thought Larry Bird game was pretty because it won. He won. And no Michael and Magic Johnson had a push shot. Not even look at it like We had that. a pretty game coming down Nobody on the fast break Kareem with the one, dime dropping. That was pretty. Kareem won, won nothing but for one year by itself. Any dang way. When he uh, when he was in Milwaukee, that, he won a ring in Milwaukee. He won five. He loved in Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah. He got all his rings with Magic. Yep. That's okay. So thing. really, that wasn't even you. wasn't even a dominating factor. You, you wasn't even. You a dom- that's Magic another reason there. why they don't consider my bad end. That's why they don't consider Kareem the goat like that. Because when he, he got old. to L.A., they yeah. looked at Magic as the de facto leader. Once Kareem got old. Man, he was. There was no point in Michael Jordan's career where he was not the number one guy on his team. Even in Washington, when Jerry Stackhouse was better than him, Michael Jordan was still the number one guy. But y'all, on the team. but y'all, but y'all acting like it was a uh, what, what they call it when they when they put them teams together. Y'all like it was a a, a stacked team they put together. When Magic Johnson was a rookie, they didn't know he was gonna be that damn good Niggas, coming out of Michigan. Magic Johnson was drafted first overall, bro, to the team that won a championship the year before. But what I'm saying is, it's not like they they put a power team together. Is what I'm you saying. already a power team? If you won the championship, Greg? I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about. Bro, really? you already as a rookie coming to the NBA. If you, if you you're are not drafted, a champion, go if, ahead. if you're the best player in college and right. you drafted to the team that won a championship last year, it's not not a power team. Yes or no? You yeah, going, the well, NBA, yeah, the NBA yeah. now is the worst team. Get the what? The first. The, the, uh, uh, yeah, they, yeah, they, the get, the, they get the first, worst. They, they get the worst the player. Get the first pick area. Exactly. Magic Johnson and Larry Bird drafted to the two best teams. But the reason why Larry Bird went over there with Kevin McHale and Robert Parrish and all the motherfuckers, bro, because the NBA did not have the draft lottery back then, and they were too stupid to realize that the worst team we need to build up these bad teams. So guess what? The league could be competitive every year. The worst, the best well, player yeah. in college go to the best team. Magic Johnson won the ring his rookie year because the year before the fucking Lakers won. That's what that's what happened. Now, on to the LeBron, the Michael Jordan thing. Yeah. Kevin Durant right now, because you spoke on Kevin Durant being on pace or whatever. Kevin Durant. Before he Achilles injury. What, three years ago in Golden State? Yeah. He wasn't even close. Go ahead. He, 26,000 points. What he what what, what, he, he, what, what he ranked at right now? 15. 15. What you talking about? He ain't even close. Before they killed, bro, he just passed Dominique Wilkins. He wasn't even close. But you know he been sitting for a couple years too. Who? Yeah, like he wasn't hurt before he before the killers even go to state. He been hurt before. That's what I'm saying, bro. This but, is a this, we got to put this in perspective. This record that Kareem the Kareem Abdul Jabbar got is at least a 30 year old or 40 year old record, bro. Yeah, it, for, is. it took LeBron James literally 20 years. To break this, 20. Yeah. And we sit up and saying somebody's going to be close to it? LeBron, and when Kevin Durant came in and oh, Sam, he ain't got a chance. 
He ain't got a chance. Not even like that. nobody I'm, has I'm, a I'm, chance. I'm, 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 yeah. Can I mean, we even say he's chasing it when he's doing this on less shots, shots attempts. attempts? Like what do we? Nobody has a chance. Y'all not 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 less shots made. Less shot Bro. attempts. He haven't even attempted. But, his, but, but you got to think about it. But you got to think about it. In a over a twenty year period, if your numbers just been consistent, it's like how can you not get there? Usually, <laughs> usually niggas' numbers go down. As the years go up, let me ask you something. Yeah. something. Who's consistently averaged 27 points for 20 years? <laughs> I'm saying said, LeBron. Who, exactly. Nobody yeah. else in NBA history. No, no, no. No, no I'm giving. I'm, I'm giving. I'm, I'm giving him. So praise I'm saying you right making it seem like it. Like, no, was, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm giving him his praise. Like, damn, like that's amazing. I'm like, that's the only reason because there's been plenty of niggas. I mean, the only reason. The only reason. There's been plenty of niggas who don't play 20 seasons, but they ain't. Sustain that level. Like Kareem played damn near, Vince Carter played damn near 22 seasons, but he didn't sustain that average. Yeah, I'm giving LeBron wait, his flowers right now. I ain't, I ain't saying that bad about LeBron but wait, right no, now. No, yeah. no, no, but wait a minute. That's not, I sat up him, I was listening intently. That's not what y'all just said. I don't know if you said it, you said okay, it, but that's what? not what you just said. What you said? just said that, oh, somebody will pass it soon because you, you got to look at No, no, I said Kevin Durant. I said, no, I, I didn't say that. Shit. I know, I'm just saying. No, no, no. Like, Nobody's close. Nobody's close, but this man averaged 27 points for 20 years. Who the hell in NBA history? Not KD, none of these niggas. Only person I did say was, could have been on the pace without minus the injuries would have been KD. He wasn't close. He was putting buckets. He's not close. He's not, bro. He, well, he's not close now, but I'm just saying. KD, when he came in, first of all, you're already a year behind because you came in out of college. You're already a year behind. LeBron James came out of high school. Right. Le my, Kobe Bryant averaged 25 points for his whole career, bro. He still only got the fourth. He didn't even pass Carl Malone. And Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant only See, got hurt. Malone oh, wait, got wait, 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 wait. Only two less than Kareem that and LeBron. That ain't my point, though. Yeah. Guess what? Kobe Bryant only got hurt once. That's the key leave. Once. But what did he average his last three seasons in the NBA? I just said he got yeah. hurt. He got Before he got hurt, he played 16 straight seasons yeah. without a fucking injury. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant was the only player who told his own wife, I'm not missing the game because what about the people that, that, that uh, saved up their last bit of money to come see me? You know what I'm saying? He was that determined. Who, who nobody, bro, nobody's gonna be close to this record for at least 40 years, bro. Nobody. If it took 40 for LeBron to pass Kareem, it's gonna take about another 30 or 40 for somebody. Zion Williamson could have probably did it, but he's too big. He not got hurt 13 yeah, times been, already. Yeah, he, in the first three it's seasons. his first healthy season playing. Ke yeah. Kevin Durant ain't gonna pass it. Cause now nowadays they take time off just to sit yeah, down. Yeah, Steph Curry, he started off too slow. Nobody's gonna pass it. And James know. Harden slowing down. I put it like this, bro. I'm gonna be yeah. honest with you. If LeBron James get this record, he's on even play. He's on even. He's on even footing with Michael Jordan. I won't say he's better than Michael Jordan, but he is. If you LeBron James on even footing with Michael Jordan, if he get that record, which he gonna get. It. But Kareem wasn't. Yeah. I'm asking you, but I'm asking you, but Kareem wasn't. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. But I'm asking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nigga. But Kareem wasn't. <laughs> what? I'm saying you saying if he beat if he beat Kareem record that's gonna put him right on Michael Jordan level. But because Kareem, Kareem wasn't on Michael Jordan level. Because, because same again, amount of championships. Nope, 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 nope. You, you, we gotta be, you gotta listen. Once again, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was not the number one guy on his team when he got to L.A. LeBron has been number one person on his team every year, no matter who played over there. And Michael Jordan has been too. LeBron James is the one who 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 is doing all this stuff. And not even just that. Forget the scoring record. He's gonna be probably sixth in assists or the second in assists or whatever it is. Right? He finna, he. he Pass, he's going to pass Magic Johnson. The only person going to be in front of him is probably John Stockton, and that's it. He's going to be sixth in rebounds. Not to mention, he, I think he just passed Mike in total steals. Like, this shit is ridiculous, bro, what the man is doing. This ain't no – and then let's just say if he just – let's just say if he just squirt past the finish line. You know, LeBron only averaged 15 points, but he still got that record. No, he's averaging 29 points this year, bro, at 30, at 40. 29 points. He ain't squirting past the line no, like, Car that, yeah. like Carl Malone was doing to get the record or, yeah. or somebody. This man is averaging 29 points and 38. No, we have not seen nobody, period, in NBA history. Give me one. We can wait all day to do this. Give me one. When Michael Jones was 38, he playing for the Wizards. He wasn't putting up number. LeBron James putting up right now, and LeBron James took no time off. seen no basketball player. No time off. Doing this. No, none. You know, you Michael Jones took a three-year delay. Before he came back, averaging them 20 points and that a game, go, too, that, And that can go against Mike, because that could mean you fresher. Because guess what? If I've been playing the whole time, you should be better than me if you've been sitting down. Depending on how you look at it. Now, I'm not saying that's the truth. I, 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 but, we, I, I, but, but we know LeBron is the most physical I, specimen to ever really come into the NBA. Let's be real. My favorite player, Kobe Bryant. I test, he's the second best player I've ever seen. I agree with that. I don't think I'll say, I'll say it's about Kobe. Kobe is the most talented 
skilled player to ever come to the NBA, meaning like some people have to work to get to a certain level or make themselves better, but he just had it. But I don't think he better than Mike. I don't think he better than LeBron because just simple fact, he's a, a, a another image really of Mike. It's, a, it, it's like the reason – People just skip Kobe and just put it between Mike and LeBron yeah, because look, look, Kobe. Kobe, he want to do everything like Mike. So it's like, who you going to pick? You going to pick the master or you going to pick the teacher? Pick look, one. Get what? That's you, you, why he going to get that's, mentioned. That's the exact reason why you should salute Kobe because they only hate on Kobe he put that thing on that white girl. Oh. But besides <laughs> that, okay, I agree man, with that. What, what, was, what was Michael yeah. Jordan's best commercial? I want to be, I want to be like my... Somebody actually did it. Mm. Yeah. Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Kobe Bryant. Somebody actually did it, and, but, just, but, but and it, not even that. You want to get all right? But you can't. You can't pick the same two people who got the same yeah, type no, of I game to say they're the two greatest let me players tell you, let me ever. Tell you why. People want to. See, LeBron game is totally different. Look, LeBron lived up to all the hype from day one. The, the chosen yeah. one, the king. He lived up to the hype because I don't think no player could come in with that much hype and do what he's done. No. So we got to. I, what, what, I give him what that. He did live up to the hype. You know, no, what no, I'm going to the hype. No, he lived up to the hype. But I'm gonna tell you some real. Them two years when Kobe then went to the them three years when Kobe went to the chip. Yeah. No sack. Okay. Had Paul Paul and Biden. Yeah. LeBron supposed to be his opponent. Nike made commercials every year because they supposed to be an opponent. Yeah, I remember that. LeBron yeah. couldn't get over that. He, he got that knocked out by eat. Dwight Howard. Yeah. So is Dwight Howard better than LeBron? No. He put his ass down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? He put him like, down. So, but but if we watch, actually watched the games with the ice test, we seen that that Le Really got them. Dwight Howard had LeBron. So team. hold on a minute. So if Paul Pierce beat Le um, Kobe and Kobe never got his revenge back on Paul Pierce, would Paul Pierce be better than Kobe Bryant because he put his ass in the, he put his ass down too? Put PG and Paul. No, I'm just saying. You're not going to disrespect that. I can have that debate with you about anything LeBron and Kobe. Right. Some of these folks just ain't on Kobe's level. No, nah, I ain't saying. That. I'm just saying. You just it saying Dwight nothing. Howard. It ain't, but it, I don't, you know what? Paul Joker dunk on Kobe Bryant ten times in a row. He will never be what Kobe Bryant. But do you Kobe understand? Who had a chance but, to get into that realm. You right. know, I, 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 LeBron is a part. He's in a realm now that none of the players in the NBA are That's even. That but, time, but, but, but do you understand why people skip Kobe and they just go straight from the, the comparison between LeBron and Mike? Yeah, they don't conquer so the much individually, the and only, they got totally two different games. The only, the only person, only, the only people that do that is really we're going, we going off that old media. Folks on TV because he had such relations with that white girl. He died, and that's the first thing they brought up. So you're never going to tell me that they only are looking at him playing ball. If you're looking at him playing ball, I tell you, better than LeBron. You ain't you ain't going to say no, man. Kobe at his old age, ducking on them. Ducking I ain't even going to lie to you. I tell you, better than Mike. Huh? Straight, straight I tell you, better than Mike, bro. Kobe Bryant did stuff on that floor, bro. There, yeah, man, did. that behind the back yeah, dunk, like, like that time he went behind the back and like, bro, Kobe. Was I say he was the, most talented, but he. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about strictly eye I'm not saying he greater than Michael Jordan. No, I ain't saying that. Yeah, the when, 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 when Kobe Bryant came into the league, he handled the ball better than Michael Jordan. Anybody will tell you that? Oh yeah. Michael, he, he, when Kobe Bryant came to the league, yeah. he shot the three pointer better than Michael Jordan. Anybody will tell you I that? See, Only talented. reason why Kobe Bryant sh shooting percentage from the field is worse than Michael Jordan. I'm gonna be honest. With you. He jacked it up. I he say he was a lot of talented player. Two and two, Kobe Bryant played against tougher. Tougher opponents than Michael Jordan did. Right now, you can't name five shooting guards when Mike played. That was just the truth. You can't. Not you can't name five. You can name five right now if you start at the bottom with Bradley Bill. Think about the only uh, person yeah, with Kobe. Bill. The only per Kobe Bryant had a different starting lineup every ring. The only yeah. person that was in his lineup every time was Derek Fisher. Yeah. Every year, okay. Derek Fisher. That's what I'm saying. He was never consistent. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he, like, it, but like with teammates and other, he they knew when he laced them up. It, that's why you got y'all even hate on Kobe. Right. I'm not hating no, on no Kobe. Like, I'm just I saying. Know, I'm just, I'm just listen. But can't nobody say when you see that you see Kobe lacing those shoes up. You know you about to go to work. You see you see Jordan lacing those shoes up. You know you about to go to work. Everybody else, you know they about to, they finna play a good game. <laughs> Right, <laughs> like but you know, them two right now gonna go to work. Yeah, you hear them talk about, but Kobe. but but yeah, I mean, like I say, he the most talented player. But I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say he he better than Mike. I don't think it's I, can't say I don't. I, I, I Even think, from the eye test, he ain't better I think than Mike. You, Mike I, was just sharp. I think bro. if I think if just you put, I think if you put a, a, a ball out there and both of them in they in their thirties and and you just tell them to do shoot here, shoot here, shoot here, dribble here, dribble here, dribble here. I think Kobe Brown would do it better than Michael Jordan. I'm just being honest with you. Oh yeah, now if you just tell him, I'm just being. You just gonna play horse? Yeah, I think I might I think like Kobe, Kobe Brown is better than Michael Jordan. Now you play one on one game. 
I go, I'm gonna go Mike. I'm, I'm gonna go Mike, but then if Le, like if Kobe and LeBron play one on one, only way LeBron gonna be able to beat him, he gotta back. He him. gotta back him down. Got me. For LeBron, if they, if but, they do, but that's they do, why. If, no, I'm just saying, like, I can if I can if I can pick how you're gonna win it. Like, say Kobe and LeBron. I mean, LeBron and Jordan play. I mean, Le, Jordan and Kobe play each other. We ain't gonna. That can't go. That's gonna be a game. And neither one of them being LeBron, bro. If they, if they, if they could dribble the ball as much as they want. All I'm saying. If they doing two dribbles only. I go Mike or Kobe over LeBron. But if they just, you got the ball, do what you want to do, and LeBron can just back down both of them, it's over with. He really it better over back down. Yeah. But if they do two, two dribbles like like how dudes play, you know what I'm saying, yeah. at gym, yeah, I like Michael or Kobe will get over LeBron. But if they do it, man, six foot nine, two eight, they're not stopping LeBron. Bro. Kyle, that's like I say, it, it, don't, it don't matter how great you is. When you great it at, at, at the sport, who they always say they chasing? Mike chasing Mike. Why they don't say they chasing Kobe? He got just one less ring. Magic got one less ring. No, no. I'll tell you why they don't say the Chase Cope. Tell him, Skeet. Because he did what? For the white girl. Come on, man. <laughs> come on. Man, we got, come on. So, uh, I mean, America, let, let me ask y'all. Are we, are we really going to sit here and act like the only reason Kobe doesn't get his just due is because he... If he would have never slayed that white girl, do you know how we would be looking at Kobe right now? Yeah, he was the face of the NBA, bro. Right now, we, Kobe will be the new silhouette of something. Yeah, right. Get an award. LeBron thing. would not have a gold medal if it weren't for Kobe going to save them. Because when Allen Iverson and Carmelo Anthony them was on the dream got team, whatever it medal. was, they got <laughs> their butt whooping. And Kobe had to come out there and save them and 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 put his forearm in Paul Gasol's chest to let them know, his... like I'm not playing. Y'all for to play some defense. That's what Kobe Bryant did for LeBron. Them, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying this. On a Kobe, on, Hold we, on, LeBron. LeBron didn't get no bronze medal. LeBron wasn't on that team. Yes, he was. He was on that team with Camelo. LeBron and Allen James them the year before, and Allen Iverson them lost in the, lost in the whatever. There ain't no LeBron was on that team. You can look it up, Google it. I, 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 I watched the whole. I watched the whole. I did not know he was on that team. Damn. Damn. Him, Dwayne Wade, and all of them. That documentary ain't really getting that much pub because it's bigging up Kobe through the whole thing. Yeah, and then Kobe Bryant had to come. Kozeski them had to call him, and Kobe said, "You know, they go have to play with me." It made them start playing defense, and they ran through ran through everybody. But my point is that this, yeah. look, man, we all love Mike. We love shoes. You know what I'm saying? We like oh, what yeah, Mike done did. Yeah. We like <laughs> we like how great Mike was. But yeah. we can't be. We gotta stop acting like Mike was not there playing with a bunch of plumbers either, man. And and, and carpenters and all type of stuff. Uh, other than Clyde Drexler, Mike wasn't playing, uh, and and Reggie Miller, he wasn't playing against. He wasn't playing against that type of competition like LeBron was playing against, bro. And I ain't, you can't help when you're born. I always say that. Yeah, I get it. But what LeBron done did, and you look at who all he done played against in the finals and stuff like that, we can't act like that competition. Mike wasn't playing against them Steph Curry, right. them super fifty. We might have two to three just super leapers in the NBA in the, in the early day, but now. Yeah. How, how we look at Vince, wow. how we looked at Vince Carter. That's why we saw that first slam dunk yeah. at the him, T Matt, Steve, France. We were like, God damn, those niggas jumping out. Right. Everybody does it in NBA now. But what but what go back to what he was saying, what I'm saying is that all right, I, I agree with what you're saying, but no Mike went playing against in better individual players, but I think he was playing against better chemistry teams, which made it hard for him on the individual level to conquer and beat them because collectively I think back in the day they played better than today's game as a team today's game you have selective teams it's like oh, okay they good and they good and that's it but it was it's been the super teams where you, but where you pulling that from it wasn't no it wasn't no super team like that in Mike day you had two good players on each team but when Le, Le, when LeBron was winning his rings it was all from super teams if you think it went from no regular team, he took you, a, if you think Carl Malone, Greg Ostertag, John Stockton, Byron Russell, and Jeff Hornacek. No, you we, no, you was talking about the people be, that both of them that you talking about the uh, no, shooting guards about, that Mike about, had to play. I'm no, just no, saying no. like he, he had to play against, better collective teams. Them, see, he played against them, right? Did he play? Against right, them? yeah, he played against them. Teams. Was that not the second best team in the NBA that year because they lost in the NBA finals? Right. I, I'm doing the mathematics now, right? right. If you think Carl Malone once again, John, John Stockton, Greg Ostertag. Byron Russell and Jeff Hornacek gonna beat the third team to come out the West in any seven game series. You out your mind. They ain't gonna do nothing with they they, they let's just say the year KD. So oh no, no. Scratch that. So you saying, let's just say the, the team that LeBron took to the NBA finals when they when they got swept by Tim Duncan. You saying that Cleveland Cavalier team could have beat 
the Utah Jazz in no, 90, 97, say, 98. I, no, I said the year LeBron done won. Okay. There's no way. That, that team is not going to be the Golden State Warriors with that year. That team is not going to be Well, okay. the Golden State Warriors has a, a, a damn near super team with Kevin Durant. Is That's it? my whole point. They The, the teams today, the, the teams that LeBron beat, the 73 and 9 Golden State Warriors, they're, the, the, Greg, Greg goes to tag and, yeah. and Carmelo to make me them, bro. They're not beating goddamn uh, the, uh, the OKC Thunder who had that same team down 3-1. They're not beating them, bro. They're not beating OKC with with, with all three of them. They're not beating them, the, the the Miami Heat who uh, went to the NBA championship. They're not beating none of them, bro. They're not beating none of them. None of them teams. You look at any – let's go to the – You only name one team, though, really, that – Portland Trailblazers in 1992. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Portland Trailblazers in 1992. Right. Uh, only thing was over there was uh, – uh, 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 what's his name? Tesla, Jerome Kersey. And, and uh, Buck, uh, Buck, whatever his name Porter. is. Who they been, bro? Who they been? Uh, you, Reg- talk, you talking about a championship team or when LeBron was just on the I'm talking about, I'm, I'm naming teams that Michael Jordan actually beat. Who was they beating, bro? Who was they beating, bro? Can, can you even name these players? On to me, team? he only beat two team good teams for in the final. Who? Be it factual. He the Suns and the goddamn Sonics. Yeah, because, but guess what? The Suns had Dan Marley, he did Kevin Johnson, uh, he Charles Barkley. He beat Martin. the Lakers. Man, they weren't good no more. Who? <laughs> Jordan played for See, right. people say that, too, say that all the time. James Worthy didn't play, and and Magic Johnson on his last leg hurt the whole series. Magic Johnson didn't even. Come on, bro. Dude, right and guess what? Age, and guess bro. what? After Magic Johnson put that triple double on, they had to put Scotty on the rest of the series. That's a fact. After mm-hmm. Magic Johnson, when Michael Jordan tried to go home 94 feet, Magic Johnson tried to triple double because that's why he lost game one. And guess what? If James Worth would have played, I ain't saying Mike wouldn't have beat them, but it, it, it would have been well, a, name definitely been the James better series. For a reason, though. Yeah, it, it, big game James. That his name was. Now, uh, now look, all this before my time, but I I got classic sports. I watch yeah. this stuff. Oh, How well, you that, ever that tried to watch? Sons, <laughs> hey, I, I, I seen that Phoenix yeah. Suns. Oh, yeah, classic sport now. I, you just yeah. Said, How you ever tried to watch an NBA game back in the day, bro? It ain't never throw it in the post. As, oh my God, it is terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It is. <laughs> It is. Except for Phoenix Sun, because Dan Martin doing shooting trades. Like, they they was, Dan Martin doing hell. You know what I'm saying? But, NBA didn't get good to the Sonic series, really. Yeah. I'm talking about, bro, look at this. Well, re- really, when the Orlando Magic got with, with extra five. Yeah. That's when basketball got back. Well, like you said, you can't help what time he played in, but Mike was definitely ahead of his talent. No, and, I, and, and, I definitely think, and, and, and I definitely think he could have dominated the game even more now because we, he had an image of him. Your boy, Kobe, played just like him and dominated yeah, with, in, in, in the era of LeBron James, the Camellos, and the Dwayne Wade. Right. He still was winning championships. But, so we already know he could have played. We already know Mike could have played with them. No, no, I'm not saying. Okay, this, no, no, I know what you're saying. saying. You saying Mike like I'm not saying yeah. Mike Wynn couldn't play with it, with this time. Mike would average thirty and do all that same stuff. He developed a fadeaway where he didn't have to spend that much energy on the offensive end like that, so he could waste it on the defensive end and play play immaculate defense. I'm not saying the man wouldn't be able to play during this time. What I'm saying is, answer me a question. You said LeBron many, played against more talent. No, no. Ask me yeah. a question. Look, Kobe Bryant got five rings, right? But he right. got five with who? Shaq got three with Shaq, right? Yeah. Okay, so them rings were spread out, right? Because he had to play with one of the best players in the NBA, right? Right. Right. How many rings do you think Michael Jones would have got if he would have played with the talent that he had compared to the talent of now? Michael Jones would have had to go get some help because the talent is so deep now. Well, yeah. And they, the talent is so deep. We, we all praise the six rings because he got six rings. Guess what? Nobody back then was running around with that type of talent, bro. They just wasn't. It just wasn't. When Kevin Garnett came in 95, 96, he wasn't stepping out there shooting 17 foot jumpers, man. man. Kevin Garnett, his first year, average 10 points. 10 points. Hey, what? We, yeah. 10 points, bro. Everybody who had a chance to. Try to reach that Jordan level. They end up getting hurt or they never had a team around them. One of my favorite players, Grant Hill. Yeah. Grant Hill could have been nice. But he, he was hurt, nice. And they never put a team around. I'm saying, like, but you know, I, 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 I understand. Like, yeah, yeah, he yeah. would be getting I, talked yeah. about more. Like, oh, Grant Hill I, was, I guess he what, was LeBron before LeBron. I guess yeah. what made Mike Journey to me more, like, better than LeBron is, is the simple fact that. It, he didn't. He didn't join up with nobody. It didn't know it wasn't no creating nothing to Man, win something. Make no money nigga like just got that shit money. out the fucking mud. He, like you say, he took his ass whoopings from Detroit. All these teams, but then he just. It don't matter what talent he's playing, and he still he just did the shit the right way. Yeah, is, is LeBron being an athlete in the world? He doing life the right. He do good in life the right way because I ain't never heard no bad shit about him. But the way he had them championship runs, it was always super teams. No, no, but I, 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 all his championships was won with a super team. I feel what you're saying, but I can't say he just, oh, caught the joint up thing, because 
them niggas back, them old niggas can't really say that because they weren't allowed to do shit like that. So yeah, that's why yeah. they they were actual slaves. So that if they really want to, they need to quit getting on LeBron because he wouldn't put his like LeBron built his legacy. He wasn't gonna let you determine it. I can't get mad at a man Ooh, not letting you de- determine his, what his legacy is gonna be. You can say what you want to say, but he got we're gonna we're gonna actually put some facts on my legacy. You know what I'm saying? I think Charles Barkley. Is definitely a top three power forward to ever play the game. Yeah, of course. But I can name a, a whole bunch of power forward with rings that, and he ain't got one. So they're gonna put him lower. But I yeah. watched him play, so I know right. he's better than what he's advertised. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But yo, 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 Lexi already been narrated for you. LeBron ain't he just ain't gonna let them do that. So get okay, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go make my team. Now KD let no build make his legacy for him, cause he snaps back and say the wrong stuff. LeBron just knew how to handle himself. Mm-hmm. He been that nigga from day one. And, and, and then, like, like all the, if you look at the drafts and stuff that came in with Mike, one none of them, none of them, then none of them nigga come in like that, bro. Kevin Garnett, only only one that came in like that when Mike was in the league was Adam Iverson and Tim Duncan. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Other than that, none of them came in like that. Jerry Stott, first round, first pick with Joe Smith, trash. Second pick, Tony McDice. Third pick, Damon Stoudemire. Not Damon Stoudemire, Jerry Stackhouse. Mm-hmm. Fourth, I forgot. When when uh, when Allen Iverson them came in, Al, uh, Allen Iverson. Um, uh, what the boy name? Marcus Allen, Camby, Mark Ray Campbell was Allen, second. Stephon Marbury, Stephon Marbury and all of them. Yeah. Then none of them come in like that except for AI and um Marbury. Marbury, Marbury. yeah, Marbury yeah. came in like that. But AI, Ray Allen too. We gotta get Ray Allen. He came. He in came like, in like that yeah. too. But Kobe took a. He took. A, now that was back. When Ray Allen, that was back when Ray Allen took out the dribble too. He put yeah. the ball. Yeah, hey, you gotta remember Kobe came out of high school right? and he came on the but team. But Kobe didn't even come in anyway. like that. Kobe didn't come. If you had to put him on a star team, he could have came in like that. No, he had enough talent. Bro, Kobe Brown was Kobe not average good. twenty. You put that nigga on like the Charlotte Bobcats or something. He would have. He would have. Kobe, <laughs> Kobe Brown didn't come in like that. Like two seed because of Dale Hair. Kobe Brown. If you, if you came in like that, you 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 gonna be like that. Kobe Brown weighed like a buck seventy, bro. He was six. six. He was gonna sit regardless. Cause Eddie Jones was there. Eddie Jones was there. Well, don't don't say he came to a stacked team already. You had Nick Van Nessel taking all the shots. Eddie Jones shooting here. Shaq doing. Nah, that's when Shaq he, came to the team. Kobe Brown was huh? a lottery pick at thirteen, my nigga. If he would have been like that, he would start. They're not sitting down on lottery pick if you ain't like and that. And Jerry West wanted him. Yeah, they, they traded. Like they traded away their best center, Velotti Divac at the time, mm-hmm. who was the center for Magic them. I think when, when they lost to Jordan, right? For Kobe Bryant in that pick, if I ain't mistaken. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Kobe just won't like that. If you look at Kobe, he got drafted, man. But, it, it, like, bro, he was 6'6", six, six, about 175. Mind you, Allen Iverson's six foot 165. So, like, he wasn't like that, bro. He only averaged seven points. And then, I'm going to tell you how I know he wasn't like that because in the playoff, he shot three air balls against the, the Utah Jazz yeah, that year. Back to back years that they went Back to back. He started in the fourth quarter. Like, the fourth quarter came, he shot. They was in the clutch time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't saying, like, all I'm saying is, a lot of them people that came in with Mike, they wasn't like that, bro. Like, they wasn't shooting seven. We think about that now because later on in Kevin Garnett career, he was pulling up and all that other stuff. They yeah. weren't like that, man. It was not like Kevin Garnett ever 10 points, bro. Tim Duck was the only one came in. Take this with you. Jeff Van Horn wasn't that. You remember mm-hmm. Jeff Van Horn? Uh, uh, with with the Van truth, Keith Van Horn, I meant. With the yeah. truth. I'm glad I've been, I've been drinking. I forgot his name. But he was the truth over there now. You know what I'm saying? Came in, didn't do nothing. First round, second pick. Didn't do jack. You know what I'm saying? Tim Duck was the only one like that. He was the only one. And Allen Iverson. Now, I ain't gonna lie, the Allen Iverson class was, was deep. Yeah. Penny Hardaway came in, I like that. Steve, man, Penny Hardaway came in like that. He yeah. came in like that. Yeah. Penny but see, like they that. beat Mike. But niggas want to blame it on he took two years off. I want to hear that shit. I just, I just think <laughs> athleticism yeah. that got so great and shooting to an out. Like, Grant Hill and Charles Barkley, they started the positionless basketball. Because Charles Barkley, you 6'4", you're a power forward, but you're bringing the ball up the court, and you can shoot three. You can run the offense. You ain't got no position, really. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're, mm-hmm. too, you're too little to be an uh, actual big man, but you're too... Wide and clunky to be an actual little nigga. So he like, take off though too. But yeah, but I will. He will. He will bring your house down. Yeah. That's why I say basketball now in the league. You might have like all right. I don't really feel. I don't feel like Jokic is a center. I just feel like he's really tall enough to play basketball. Like a lot of these folks just know how to play basketball. The positions were made for novices who don't know. Got right now, it really the ain't game. no the game. Like, don't change so Rose. much. I wouldn't be surprised if LeBron could sustain this for another two or three years because basically he ain't nothing but a more athletic big man that's running up and down the court. You still can't stop him from going in the lane. He could just pull up and shoot a damn three point. He basically Jokic them, except he more acrobatic than them. I feel like LeBron should have to retire to Draymond Green. Hmm. 
He said he should have to retire because of Draymond Green. No, or Ben Simmons. He could do that. You know what? Yeah, he can't, he, if I hear yeah. another fuck person talk about how Ben Simmons, you're not good. No, he's yeah. not good. We got to quit acting like Ben Simmons is oh, good. I'm, Look how he got drafted he high and he talked. Hey, man. Look, he, I, I, his game ain't improved I'm, since he came. I'm just fair, bro. I'm just fair. I'm not no LeBron James fan, but I'm yeah. going to be honest, bro. If he passed Kareem Abdul Jabbar, we got it. We got to put him up. Even if you don't want to say two or one or whatever, you're here on the No, no, he top three. No, he, 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 he got to pass up there with Mike, bro. He top three. Look, we don't want to put Mike down below because we hold on to shit that was in our childhood. Plain and simple. Right now. That's just the truth. It's the truth. Right now, can't nobody right now tell you Tupac Shakur the greatest rapper of all time. Can't nobody right now tell you whoever you grew up off of when you was a child what they would do even though if I could up and tell you this person did this he done did that because guess what we hold things close to our childhood to this to our heart right now your favorite Christmas was something when you was five or six that's a fact right now the, the, right now you can go buy any pair of joints you want but those ones that your mama got you in sixth grade the ones that you wanted when them black and red where y'all had to go uh, uh we all had to skip school the, the 11th yeah. Want to know why? But the people because you naming, they got the resume to bag while we like them so much. So what the fuck LeBron got? But it ain't better than Mike. <laughs> resume. His resume ain't better than Mike. You better Wikipedia that shit. His statistics is better. Well, statistics are better. I'm just saying his whole resume just all accolades, everything. is not better than Mike. Le LeBron James is going to have more up LeBron under. LeBron James don't play. I ain't going to go down. I, I ain't going to go ahead. Go ahead. LeBron James is going to have more up under his belt than Michael Jordan ever had. Other, other than trophies in his home. He's gonna have. It's not gonna be nothing. What's other records? Let me finish. Yeah. He's not, it's not gonna be nothing statistically that he's gonna have more than Michael. That, that he, Michael Jordan's gonna have more than him. Once again, yes, it's just, I'm only saying yeah. it because you're going back and forth. With no, me. yes, it is. I feel like Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all no, time. I'm, no, I'm saying. But if we being completely unbiased, Mike got his own records. LeBron don't play what twenty damn seasons. Got one scoring title. Mike played fourteen. Got ten. Right. That's a record. LeBron, Michael Jordan has made more uh, all first team defensive team than, than LeBron. And it be niggas like you that say that and then say the same thing that saying LeBron just ain't no score. So, so I didn't say he wasn't no score. Yes, you did. You said I said he's not a better there. score than Mike. You said LeBron James is not a score on this. He's an all around player. Yeah, okay then. So it's the same thing. But you, but you sit up and say you try to you try to bid Mike up, but not but but let him down because he can't do it. The only reason I'm the only reason Come I'm bigging Mike up on the scoring titles is because people tell us, oh yeah, well he don't pass Mike. I said, well, well be even on both sides. Say that LeBron James won the score. I ain't say nothing about scoring titles. I say nothing about none of that. I'm talking about when it comes to stupid. Nah, people, he's not a scorer. He just gets buckets. All of just statistics. Because if it's if it's first if his first thing is the pass first shoot second, then nah, he's not a score. A score thinks score first, pass second. Okay, then if that's the case. They didn't say that. Don't, right, well, say, don't, yeah. don't say, oh, well, he going to have 10 scoring titles and Mike only, he only had one. LeBron J never tried to score according to what y'all tell me. I like to put it like this. It got to be. It got to be. If he, I, if he ain't never led the league in scoring like that, he couldn't have been trying to score. I, exactly. That's I, my point. Right. But I, he also I, got more points. He than just Mike. been consistent yeah. than the motherfucker. I, I look at LeBron as the best player, but I look at Jordan as the, like, he's just the best. I ain't saying that he ain't. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, I, I'll say, like, I can agree with what both of y'all are yeah, saying. Like, I ain't saying, bro. I don't understand why. My, my you whole, say, look, if, if you think LeBron is the best, because he he does a plethora of things. Yeah. Well. But I feel like but see, Michael but Jordan see, does what he does. But see, well. Oh, but see, but see, but see, but see, that's the problem, see. I said this three times. I said Michael Jordan to the eye test is the greatest player of all time. Michael Jordan is the greatest player of no, all time. No, I didn't say let you didn't say, say that. Let me yeah. say, let me, only thing I said was statistically, my, LeBron, oh, James LeBron James is going to have more up under his belt than Michael Jordan, which is a fact. But see, Michael Jordan fans okay. can't hold on listen, to that. Listen, listen, listen. I, I, I was being petty with the scoring titles. And the only reason I'm being petty with the scoring titles because I'm tired of people saying LeBron James is the greatest scorer of all time because he has the all, he going to be the all-time leading scorer for the NBA. That does not make you the greatest scorer. You're just the all-time leading scorer in the NBA. That's why I pointed out he played 20 seasons, one scoring title, might play 14, 10 scoring titles. That means you are a better scorer if you led the league in every goddamn season except your rookie and when you came out of retirement. And you would not. You can't just say he was just a score. The motherfucker six for six. So it's like he was winning and scoring. First of all, get your stats. That's right. Michael Jordan did not lead the league and score his rookie year or his second. And year I said four. no, no, no. I said he led the he led the league the in every. Home. Listen, he led the league in scoring every season except. His rookie season, and, his and when he season. and when and when and when he came out of uh, and his second season. Oh well, yeah, okay, that was a third. And season when he, he came, took off. so yeah. he didn't lead the league in scoring. If he played fifteen years, he got ten scoring titles. Five years, he did not lead the league in scoring, brother. Five. Okay. Michael Jordan played fifteen years. He got ten scoring titles. Five years, that's, he did not that, lead that's, the that's, that's still you gotta be sonically sound, bro, to still just conquer. Some or shit you was like just that. playing with less talent. 
Well, I mean, dude, just, that's, that's <laughs> your opinion, saying. though. That's your opinion, though. Just, that ain't no opinion. That is an opinion. We, we all just agree that Michael Jordan played with less talent back then. We all, all right, but can we can, can we agree that is is um the way the game is played now? Them points can run up faster. Now think about it. You talking about a man who averaged thirty points on jumpers versus somebody who um averaging these niggas averaging thirty now shooting all these three pointers. Now I ain't taking that away from their talent. I can't help that Mike can't shoot threes like Steph Curry or KD or even LeBron. I'm not saying that, but all I'm saying is. His his that consistency of them thirty points for for ten times mm. on jumpers and shit, shit. It don't matter what talent you was playing against. It, it took longer for him to get to thirty than it would take Steph Curry. That's not true. It takes Curry. It takes Steph Curry uh, fourteen shots probably. Cause uh, guess what? At least ten of them gonna be threes. Guess what? And who shot the most shots in NBA history? Who shot the most shots? Over I don't know that stat, shot. Uh, who do you mean? Michael <laughs> you, Jordan. I didn't know he took the most shots in NBA history. I, I, thought Kobe Kobe. I thought Kobe did. I thought Kobe did. I thought I thought Kobe did. I thought Kobe, Kobe averaged more attempts than the than most. Mike. Who shot the most shots over their career in 15 seasons in NBA history? Michael Jordan, bro. And Kobe Bryant was number one period over 17, over eight. Yeah, over his, 19 he, yeah, his career. But Michael yeah. Jordan, guess what? You should average 30, my nigga, if you shoot the most shots in NBA history. You know what? So <laughs> was he? A, so what's up? So, so was he a bad shooter? No, look, I'm glad both of y'all doing it. How you want me to tell you something real? When we were growing up, we was called we was calling Mike Firehead. Exactly. But look, but what did though? But now we're criticizing LeBron because he passed too much. Mm. So mm. it's all up to this shit is subjective. That's why I say what I, what I might see with my eyes might not be what you feel. That's yeah. why I can say LeBron is the he's the greatest like all around. Like he's the first to me. He's the first unicorn. He's right. the first player yeah. you can just plop and to tell him to play. We ain't got to put you in no position. Everybody else that I think is great has a position. You know, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Kobe has a position. Jordan has a position. Right. So they're gonna play that shooting guard. Yeah. I mean, they could play small for it, maybe run some one, but I'm not gonna be as covered as them playing the point guard or something as I would LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I need a, a bucket, I don't want LeBron but, but having see, the ball. But see, that's yeah. my. But see, I agree with you. It is subjective. But I, I but I, like I say, I, bro. Either either niggas hold on to Michael Jordan or they hold on to LeBron. I just try to be objective. Well, I hold on to Kobe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my whole thing. And if you and just and if you count, if you look at who account for more points, LeBron account for way more points than Michael Jordan. Yeah, but with the assists, of course. Yeah. That's so, why he's the all around. Well, let's be real. And, and, and I know what y'all say, man. If he wanted to, uh, this 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 that. If LeBron James wanted to average thirty, he could have, bro. He could have, bro. How, how many times I told you the, the, the key to success with some of these niggas who can't shoot? Do the LeBron method. Come, spread the floor. It, and get it, all trade look, ball shooters. Look, ben Simmons, Giannis wanted to chip off of that. Yeah. Just put, hey man, everybody need to be able to shoot threes on the floor beside me because I'm going to go full speed downhill and they can't stop it. Yeah. If Ben Simmons were to do that right now, the, could nobody beat the Brooklyn Nets? No. Oh. And, and then this is my thing. Because like, you got the double team and he got yeah. KD. But Kyrie he, yeah, got that. Yeah. yeah. yeah Joe true. Harris. But see, that's my thing. Like they were playing and, pretty and, better. And, yeah. and LeBron making my point. Like he's averaging twenty nine right now at forty, bro. Thirty eight. You don't think he did that twenty five? Hey, you don't think I he did that thirty one? I feel like you don't think he did teams, that. Somebody else on that Lakers. But we see Mike that. at thirty now. Thirty eight. We seen Mike at, at 30, 35, 36. Yeah, we, we, we seen that him good. Championship, Mike. That was championship, yeah. Mike. We ain't take. We ain't talking about that. I'm talking about Mike at thirty eight compared to LeBron at thirty eight. If you if you if you say that LeBron can average thirty, like it, for his whole career, if he wanted to, you got to be out your mind. I didn't Don't say that. I'm, that's my point. Yeah. So so when I say the, the man is averaging twenty seven points a game over his whole career, which would probably go up. But but hold on. So we said about a few great scores that Who? that, that could have shit. If Charles Barkley going to average thirty, Stop. he could have. If, if goddamn, no, it, it's a lot of if KD. If Kyrie, no, if he they, couldn't. It, Mike, no, they, no, he couldn't. Right. Charles Barkley is out the window. No, he couldn't. Charles Barkley, high scoring. Well, he won the MVP on the average twenty three points a game, bro. What are you talking about during the season? When Charles Barkley won the MVP, Michael Jordan averaged twenty three points a game. No, in the NBA Finals, he averaged like thirty five against Mike. Mike averaged forty one. Right, but, yeah, I ain't but, say, yeah. but you said average thirty points a season. Charles Barkley was nowhere close to averaging thirty points, bro. He only averaged. But it's, it's NBA players that they wanted to average thirty points every season they could. I'm yeah, asking you, just taking you shots. Talk about the time back then. One of those games over 90 points. Oh, said, but man, you can go Everybody Tracy McGrady. Okay. But, 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 you can go Tracy McGrady. You can go. It's a lot of players. Grant Hill. Average, but, and he did average. But 30. not every season he did. 
Average grade, Trace grade average 30 for years. He did average 30 a couple years. I'm not saying yeah, he did a couple years. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he did it every season, but I'm just saying, who you, who you talking about going average 30? 30 is not, it's not easy, my nigga. I'm not saying that. I ain't that. saying that. I, ain't I'm just saying, I said LeBron. I ain't oh, talking yeah, about yeah, none yeah, of these yeah, other yeah. niggas. LeBron yeah. could average 30 every year. Because guess what? That shit hard. That shit yeah. is fucking hard, bro. None of them niggas could average 30 like that. No, no. Tim Duncan can do it. Shaq can even you fucking do it. You don't think KD could? I think KD can, yeah. But he, once again, like Ski said, he's a fucking unicorn. Yeah. He's a shooter. Like he, he really don't got no position. He's just a tall, he's a super tall shooting guard. Yeah, but a lot of like everybody could have a no. Like, but y'all do agree sometimes people they'll change their game when they trying to get their teammates involved. So they may step back from just trying to be the the leading scorer in the league because they they may have another goal. No. Once they finally do lead the league and score. No, so that, that that's no. why I say that's why I say they, it's a question, lot of players can, that probably could average thirty points every season game. if they if they didn't care about winning if they just went out just saying man I'm about to go get thirty tonight I'm talking about a bona fide all star I'm gonna get thirty tonight bro and niggas a lot of niggas they can get thirty every night if I, that's their only goal I don't see it you don't think you don't believe that I don't think nobody's I don't think nobody in NBA is going out there saying I'm not gonna score thirty. Like, like, who the no, fuck we're is not, going we're not, no, bro, we're not, no, no, you said it the wrong way. We're not saying that. I'm saying, no, like, who, who no, no, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, I'm not saying they, they don't, they don't want to score 30, but I don't think uh, it's a lot of players that go out and be like, all right, tonight, I'm every, going to get 30. I, I, Whether I, we win I, or lose, I, they I, might be like, I'm going to I'm gonna do the best I what can. What does that mean? You just going to throw the game. You're throwing the game because you're just see, trying to. I see Russell Westbrook go out there and get a triple dub every single night for four years, bro. And he wouldn't win it. Exactly, that's my point. I think it's hard. Focusing bro. on what he's trying to do. That's I, what I, I just, hard. I just said. That's what my point is. Yeah. I think it's hard to get thirty points, my nigga. And nobody it, to say if somebody you know, wanted to is different. Bro. Empty calorie thirty. So exactly. wait a minute. So so Russell Westbrook wouldn't worry you know about you if, might, you if he wouldn't worry about the rebounds and the assists. You don't think he could have averaged thirty if he wanted to without worrying about getting the, re getting, getting the triple? Let's say he ain't worried about getting the triple double because when he was worried about getting the triple double, he got it because that was a goal. That, of ain't, his. that ain't your argument. You said a lot of players. It's a few. Get, I'm saying me, a bona fide score. It's yeah, a lot of scores. Yeah. That's my question. You saying a lot of players could have averaged thirty? And what I'm saying is I don't think no NBA player who is the number one guy on their team go out there and say I'm not gonna try to get thirty. My point by saying that is I think all of them try to get thirty, but it's hard. Everybody can't average 30, my nigga. It just that's just what it is, bro. Trace McGrady just did Club Shay Shay and said Michael Jordan averaged 30 for 10 years, which you said. He said, Do you know how hard that is? Do you know how Allen Iverson said the same thing? You know how hard it is. Only thing I said, bro, because you trying to combat my argument with LeBron James, that if LeBron wanted to, which anybody with two eyes can see, I never he's said he a could. player that can get 30. Every single night, but I didn't that is rare. Yeah. Cause, Cause the thing is, if you knocking, you might you knocking Michael Jordan by saying, "Nigga, no, no." He put. I'm saying, I, I'm agree with you. I, I ain't say he couldn't. He put his energy in other aspects of the game, so he wasn't worried about every. Cause he might, he may be a uh, LeBron. He may be a no. 27, 10, and 10 type guy rather than being a 35 and five type guy. I'm just saying it's players that can average more points if they didn't put shit in other emphasis. Like Chris Paul could be one of these point guards. Not gonna happen. I'm not saying now. Chris Paul could have been one of could have been one of them, been one of them uh, point guards, bro. Never that averaged 25 points the only a game. Point guards you, but he put his energy in assists and get no, his no, teammates no, involved. The only point guards you ever but, seen average them type of numbers was explosive point guards. Derrick Rose, yeah, Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose uh, uh, John Morant mm -hmm. types, and. Uh, uh, you messed with earlier. Russell Westbrook yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. You, Chris Paul was never going to be that type of point guard. None of St John Stockton, none of them were going to be that type of point guard, bro. What I'm, all I'm saying is we can't sit up and act like it's easy to go get 30 because I think every star player says that. Nobody just – nobody. none of them players is just thinking, I'm going to have to do my thing. They thinking I want to go bust somebody yeah, up. Yeah, just look at yeah. – when you watch just – an average NBA player warming up, they don't even miss a shot. Shot, bro. But when the game starts, it should get totally When different. you watch the warm-ups, everybody no, makes. <laughs> I watched Giannis warm up. That nigga did not miss one three-pointer at all. Yeah. Swear to God, on oh, my mama. Rest in peace, mama. Nigga, that nigga, not, he did not miss not one three. But in the game, what happened? Man, that motherfucker was looking like that. <laughs> and that's my dog right now. That boy, he like he couldn't shoot a little. And, and, I, and I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is, I'm saying it both ways. I agree. My, what Mike did was hard. Yeah. All I'm saying is, it takes a nigga like LeBron who could who could have did the same thing ten years straight. Yeah. You're not finna sit up and say what's best. We're gonna go and do that. Nope. You're not gonna tell me this. Allen Iverson was the closest, and he only did it four times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? T Mac maybe could have did it, but the injuries times, came yeah. over yeah, him. Yeah. Uh it was it was a little stretch where Vince Carter was, yeah, well, was, was, was everybody was going who had crazy. The chance got hurt. Yeah. Grant Hill. Everybody who could have been like bro. a real big alpha dog type unicorn player. Yeah. Ended up getting hurt. Derrick Rose. 
If Derrick Rose never has oh those my ankles, God. man, I swear, the GDs yeah. would have been in the door. <laughs> he's gonna have them in the door, bro. Hey, man, but LeBron, I got your back. I don't too much like you like man, that. Man, you know I'm a LeBron fan, though. I got though. your back. But I just, man, man, did, it's, it's what we talking about right now, bro. I can't do that shit, bro. Oh shit. old shit. No, it's not. It ain't holding on to no old shit. Mike great, bro. You know it, too. And I seen Mike and I seen LeBron. You got his damn shoes on right yeah, now. Yeah, and I got LeBron's, too. But I seen both on them play. I, I'm just being honest. We ain't seen nothing like neither one of them. We haven't, bro. We ain't seen nothing like LeBron. We ain't I ain't say we haven't. We he one of, LeBron, LeBron is one of I'm one. Not, not just like I, Mike is one of one. Michael Jordan had more in his bag than LeBron. I can say all that. Michael Jordan is a greater player than LeBron. Y'all don't. Y'all can't say nothing about when it comes to Mike and LeBron. It ain't nothing. It's not you, Ski. It, it, it's it's no nah, Mike. Michael dribble better than that nigga too. Shit, Mike got more rebounds. Man, this ain't dissecting like, the game like that. Like that. I ain't dissecting the game like that. This, this make people mad if I tell them this. Mike, Kobe, LeBron, KD, Giannis. No, hold on. Giannis, KD. Stop playing. I see what you just did. Dirk. Luca. Mm. Jokic. And Luca, I get Luca in. The, no, Jokic. I ain't gonna put Luca in there. But those are like unicorns to me, right? Now. Yeah. All those those players in the, like they mm. have real game, unstoppable shit that you can't even stop. Either they got real game or you just can't stop them. At Giannis one point, James Harden was like that. Giannis too. got the heart of Kobe fucking Bryant. Without the heart of Kobe Bryant. We wouldn't be at the Greek Freak. I bro, before the Greek Freak we even came to Greek Freak, I told him that I watched him play the cells and they mm -hmm. did that. Like turned around, damn near by the free throw line and just went straight up and ducked on the whole damn cells team. I said, man, hey man, I don't I don't know what that nigga done did in Milwaukee. I'll be here on the Roy's or something. <laughs> yeah. But that nigga done beefed up, man. I said, give him two more years. He's gonna be the best player in the league. Man, they put that nigga on 2K cover next. I said, now if he if he plays like LeBron plays, just get them shooters around here and let him go down here. He gonna be that nigga. Yeah. That nigga stayed mm -hmm. down. Got him when he got here ring. I got a question for y'all though. 50 man. piece lemon pepper. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold the sauces. Uh question for y'all, man. What y'all do y'all think John Morant the greatest dunker of all time? Pound for pound. He is he the what? greatest what? Is he the greatest? They had a they had this segment on Skip and Shannon and they had this segment on I don't know if y'all watched Sports Center today. On, on uh, not supposed to on first take. Both of them did it. You talking about right now? Is he the greatest? John dunker? Morant, the greatest dunker of all time. Have you seen it dunk the other night? Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, no, no. Everybody right. know Vince Carter is the best in game dunker. I think, I think John Morant the best dunk of all time. I in game? In game. game. No, he ain't better. Vince, I Vince, say this. Man, Vince did some crazy you know what shit. It is, Sean I, Kemp I, I, did I, I, some I, I, crazy I, 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 shit. I, 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 yeah. John Morant has the ball in his hand at all times. Now. Hello, wait, wait, no, 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 tell you. I, I, I'm going to give you my listen, to, listen to the question. I'll answer the question. I, I said you, Vince Carter is the greatest. You they, got, they say who's the greatest dunker pound for pound? Do y'all understand oh, what pound, pound for pound is? Vince Carter. Yeah, he gotta be pound. No, he's pound for pound. pound. John Morant. No, he is. Yeah, what, what you mean? How pound for pound he ain't the best? He trying anything dunker. get their ass up under that. We've seen a hundred, whole bunch of people. Oh, no, you said pound. Okay, my bad. Yeah. But you know, I, I call him. You know, I call him Big Poster. You know what I'm saying? I call him, <laughs> like, Big Poster. You know that poster get your goofy yeah. ass up. I ain't, I ain't never seen no dunks like John Morant did, bro. Even Grit caught him on that seven footer is not what John Morant. Just think about this. When he when he do dunk on somebody. It's like we got a real, like, we got a drill basketball player. Like, he comes to that hole. <laughs> he's like, drill like he got up the blip. And, and, he was getting, <laughs> and, he and, he, and when he dunked that ball, if it, if it go in. Oh, that's a headshot. I ain't, ain't going to lie. It's exciting to watch because I ain't seen nobody that explosive for real since Derrick Rose being that little. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to go far. I think he's the greatest dunker in game I've ever seen. The dunks that he's doing on dude. Pound for pound six, he is, but I'm talking I think about period. This, I, mean, I, I don't I say Vince Carter do some acrobatic now, shit, bro. All, like, man, I, who, I, all people. You can't remember, you can't remember what two dunks Vince Carter did on somebody. I ain't talking about the one he dunked over the seven foot head. I'm saying, you say in game, oh, right? For me, I, go now, I don't see this nigga catch up. Uh, uh, Michael Jordan. Huh? Michael Jordan ain't fucking with man, fuck Michael, 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 Scottie Pippen dunk on Patrick Ewing was nasty than any dunk Michael Jordan ever did. Mike done what? Niggas, Mike, Stop. Scottie Pippen dunk on Patrick Ewing is well, nasty than any like, dunk. Stop it, bro. When he went baseline and fake and hit that baseline and came what back and dunked on you. Come on, ESPN, on ESPN list and, and on ESPN list and on a documentary it, with uh, 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 Spike Lee. That that didn't beat Michael Jordan baseline dunk on Patrick Ewing. No, no, not, that was the most disrespectful whoa, 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 dunk. Scotty Pippen like, putting nuts in. I know you ain't. I'm, I'm not yeah. saying that's his best dunk. I, I, I mean, honestly, that might be Scotty's best dunk. Yeah. But Mike dunked on plenty more niggas besides. No, he said. I said no, the no, most disrespectful no, no, dunk of all time was no, Scotty Pippen over Patrick Ewing. No, I didn't say that. No, you said yeah. that. No, no, Shaq. 
But he did. No, I'm talking about, like, no, 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 no. I'm talking about uh, Scottie Pippen versus Michael Jordan. Yeah, he said that Scott, that dunk on Patrick Ewing was better than any dunk that Michael Jordan on did. It's the most disrespectful dunk in Chicago Bulls history. Okay. Yeah, no, no, yeah. It, it's the most disrespectful. What the fuck? Like, what the hell? The nigga put his nuts in his face. <laughs> and I was hey, what, say, Mike got dunk. We played street ball, ball, bro. When the nigga put their nuts in your face and say, sit your ass down. What is we talking about? <laughs> Michael Jordan ain't got no dunk that's like that, bro. He ain't got no dunk that's like that. We dunk no. Yeah, most disrespectful dunk. I don't know about the best dunk, but most disrespectful dunk. that dunk when Mike, when they passed, when Horace Grant or Michael Jordan passed Scotty that ball in that fast break. And when Scotty went up and dunked on Patrick Ewan, bro. Stop he it. He was nasty. Stop it, bro. What dunk Mike got that was like that? He ain't got nothing that was like that, bro. Man, you go through that Mike got down film. I like real. We you all, but by the NBA show, all them dunks 24 7. You, you, so you know all of them off the top of your head. What dunk Mike got that was like that? There was, that's Scotty Pippen, only highlight in his whole life. Hold on, man. We ain't gonna try to <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to think too. Bro. Like, ain't nothing more disrespectful. Bro, I'm not no Scotty Pippen fan, but, but we ain't gonna sit up here. Okay. See, that, they, they, they go so back to the whole conversation. Y'all nigga holding no, on to the towel and work. I really just had to think yeah. about that. Mark, they, Mike done dunked on a lot of niggas. Man, Mike, and, and then on better than that Scotty Pippen dunk. So, what about the LeBron dunk? He dunked on better on the Blazers. I know. We talking about Mike and Pippen. We talking about Mike and Scotty. Now, I agree with you with some dunks better than. Then, then, then Scotty. I had to go look at and ask to see who. He done ducked on like Tom Chan. He done ducked on a lot of folks. I'm talking Springy Mike. Not, not Championship Mike. Championship Mike wasn't doing shit. But yeah. Yeah, Springy I, Mike I, I agree with you. He got a lot, but he ain't got no more disrespect on that. that but, that. but see, it's that dunk that Scotty did it had more on the line. It was, it was, it was, it was just different. It was bigger. Like the moment was bigger. Yeah. Every, everything mattered more. Other shit was just a highlight. That shit had meaning behind it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so it made, it made it even more that much more disrespectful because it's like New York versus Chicago. Man, y'all got we gonna, I'm gonna make shit. sure when we put this video, I'm gonna put that shit in the corner that dunk <laughs> Scotty Pippen did on goddamn on uh, on Patrick Ewing, bro. That shit was fucking and then told uh Spike Lee, sit your ass. That's a little hard than the dog. What? Nigga, no, nigga. Hold That's hard than the dog. You can't find a, you cannot find a dunk that Michael Jordan did that was nasty than that Scotty Pippen dunk. Like you, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't possible, my nigga. Name gonna make me look. Hold on. Yeah, yeah go you look. You saying man. better? That, or, that or was, more disrespectful? Man, I don't give a damn what it is. Whatever you want to put it at, bro. Y'all can go try to look for it or whatever you want to do, bro. It is not now that was better than that damn Scotty Pippen dunk, bro. The Chicago Bulls ranked that the number one dunk in Chicago Bulls history, bro. That's a fact, my nigga. Nigga, skeet, stop this, skeet, skeet, <laughs> stop this, skeet. Man, I ain't got no. No, no, I'm gonna, I just want yeah, you to see it. it. I want you to spoil. Well, look at this. Man, come on, oh, cuz. Look. Nuh uh. Right. Look, look. Sit your bitch ass down. Man, stop. <laughs> look. That nigga wanna fight, bro. Look. Hey, Ski Herbert, find a mic. Sit your ass down. <laughs> come on, cuz. And hey, y'all talk about them, them old ass dunk Mike was doing. Hey, y'all, and hey, this is another thing, bro. Y'all quit acting like Mike got done dunk contest with the shit. That shit was whack. Whoa, I, I said Vince Carter had one of the best. No, I said, <laughs> I said, I said Vince Carter the greatest. All that shit. I never even no, I said Vince Carter the greatest. greatest but, dunk. but but back on John Morant. Yep. Uh, I think yeah, John Morant is probably the best in game dunk I've ever seen, bro. After that dunk the other night, bro, on that dude, and then he made the tweet, if you want to go viral, or jump with me or something, something he said, bro, come on, bro. That that was. Man, was, that nigga was talking about the blit, but it's a basketball, and he let that bit go, man. Facts. Like, he coming down there. With no regard for life, nigga. No regard for human life. Human yeah, life. He elusive, man. He going and you know what? Go hurt my, no, no. He going to hit that weight room, too, though. Yeah, I need him to hit the weight room. Because the, the rate right he going shit. right now, I just don't want to see him get broken I don't down want him to be like Ella Rose. Iverson and Dero. Like, they, yeah. they bodies just broke down over a yeah, period of time. Start wearing and he only his third season, but he just he be throwing his body out there, bro, like it ain't shit. Yeah. He don't give a fuck. Yeah, he I really do what you want him to like. What you think about doing like like Hit that nigga up on that goal ball, punch that motherfucker. Yeah, he do what he, he really gonna try like his shit. attitude. Yeah, mm -hmm. do not get up on the goal. He coming. Shout out to you, job man. We just, I just, I just thought big about poster, yeah. big poster. Goddamn, you have in Atlanta, man. Just come on. To hey the man, show. if you you might that big poster too, man. You better stop bad speaker out. Follow. Sir. What y'all, what y'all think about the NFL, man? Playoffs. Just to get on it for a quick second. Playoffs this past week. Chargers blew the lead last night. I think um, the coach need to be fired. Ooh, that's a big step, but. I don't I don't know how you blow that lead. I mean, you can blame the off. I mean, they, they kept being three and out. I mean, I, I don't I don't understand it. That'd be the craziest game ever. 
Yeah, it look like he, he, he need to be fired. You don't you don't lose no lead like that, bro. Shit, you nigga lose no motherfucker. I don't want to give a shot to my Miami Dolphin. You know what I'm saying? We went out there, we did what we tried to do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all put Thursday, up a fight. Y'all put up a fight. Y'all put up a fight. Y'all almost pulled that thing out. Y'all put up a fight. Dolphin. But yeah, but them boy got their ass too, though. I yeah. told them they weren't shit. Huh? I told them they weren't shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Third string quarterback. <laughs> Third string quarterback. We're going to put we're gonna put context what, on what, it. What, what, what are the 49ers on? I don't know. I don't give a damn about third string quarterback. quarterback. Man, they got Brock Purdy, nigga. That nigga ain't Purdy. <laughs> who, who my quarterback boy the other day? Uh, uh exactly. Scholar, uh, who? Scholar, uh, not, 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 not Scholar. I remember that though. That I watched is. the game. But but you see what you're saying though. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I didn't have to. I didn't have to. I didn't have to guess your quarterback's you're name. Right. You right? Cause what he he's been producing. What Tyreek do though? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, shit. He did what he could do. He got us to the got, he got us to the playoffs, cuz. Hey man, 49ers going to the NBA, going to the NFL, uh, super, going to the Super Bowl, man. Who? 49ers going to the Super Bowl, man. They gonna you saying they can beat Philly? Yeah, Philly gonna lose tomorrow. Night. Philly gonna get lose to the Giants. Hmm. Hey, I'm scared of them Giants. They they playing I'm on how watching. money. Philly can it, be had. Bro. If they lose, nobody cares. Ain't nobody. They, I, don't, they get I, I don't care about third string quarterback. On the 49ers coming out of the NFC, bro. But they they deep, bro. Every position they deep. Every single position. They bet number one in offense and number one in defense. Both. See, that was going to kill for They ain't number How one just on. They ain't number yeah. one just in one. They number one in offense. No, no, I said Nick Bosa is a problem. Nick Bosa. Man, come on, man. Brandon Ayuk, man. Debo Samuels. Uh, Chris McCaffrey is running the out the ball right now, bro. Hey, man. If they just George two, Kittle is quick. catching. Man, come on, man. We got three problems on y'all team. Kittle, McCaffrey, and, and Debo. Got, uh, Bosa. We, we can Debo. Look. Stop playing no, with Debo. But if we stop them other guys, Debo can't do it by himself. Man, they ain't allowing nothing, bro. They ain't allowing nothing, man. Yeah, they gonna buy, think they can put, oh, uh, shit, go get, what's called Joe Montana. Man, did, you see what they, did you see what they did to uh, Geno Smith the other day? 4 to 1, 23. Debo Samuel, 74 yard. Scamper, man. Come on, man. Like, bro, I don't, I, man, I'm gonna be, I, I'm putting everything on them Niners. This. You like them to win the Super Bowl? I don't know. I can say they win the Super Bowl. I still say K, I think K, KC or if KC, if KC Buffalo. You think the Bills can go? I think Josh Allen turned the ball over too much. Even though I predict the Buffalo to win the Super Bowl, we're gonna, we're gonna get that shit together though for the four But, that but I do like Joe Burrow still, man. They, they look. They, I, I like Joe Burrow them yeah. again. Um, but the best thing they ever did was go get him. Uh, he was he received. Yeah, uh, Jamar Chase. That's one of the best. Chief thing defense they ever ain't that go good. Get Jamar Chase. That's all. Chief defense don't ever be good. Though. Huh? Chief that's on. That's the only reason I don't think they can win because they ain't got no defense. Who? The Chiefs. But they. But they but offense they can still score scary, so though. many fucking points. It's like right, can you right. can you score as many points as they can score? If if everybody's scoring, on, but if you on play, a, but if level, you play a team that got high level John offense like you, and yeah. they got better defense, they gonna win. Because eventually somebody got to get stopped. And they got to think about it. They put a lot of these teams, the defense, it don't even matter if they – like, you got to be really good to be able to play defense in the NFL now because you ain't allowed to do shit. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so, that's why I like – like, I do feel what you're saying with them 49ers. Like, they deep, bro. Because Nick Bosa makes Fred shit happen. Fred Warner, bro. bro. They are deep, bro. Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, man, they ain't bullshit, man. Ward out there. You see how Joe was mad as hell, but he got well, caught. Bro, I was, well, I'm, looking at the, I'm looking at the eye test, like, oh, who flashing? Everybody mm. on that defense flash. I'm like, oh, they is to the ball. Like, offense, bro, they is. And Purdy, it got poised. He ain't, he, he, they let him throw it now. That's the problem. He's not scared. They let he's him throw it now. scared. Well, he, look, let me tell you. Well, his name Garoppolo, I remember they won a the game one time. He only threw eight passes. Purdy threw the ball 30 times the other day. They let him throw that motherfucker now. They fucking with him. Kyle Shanahan. I'm going to tell you another thing broke my heart. But see, if I was that nigga, I'd say trade me right now. <clears throat> oh, Lamar Jackson. Trade me. Yeah. You seen I, I showed y'all couldn't do it without me. You seen J.K. Dobbins said we'd have Lamar with the one. He said, yeah. he, uh, who says that though? Like, that lets you know, like, he don't give a no fuck. Like, we'd have no, Lamar with the one. He really thought they could have been our. Because J.K. Dobbins played his ass off. He played like hell. And they see, that's why he said, he know he know we're not. He left it. When a nigga leave it on the field, they can't control them both. Don't come ask them shit right after that yeah. shit, bro. And then. He played his ass off, and, and that's the only reason why I, I the Bills too. Are like I don't, I don't know about them because okay, one, okay, you are down to I forgot who the safety is who played yesterday. But, but he bought, he caught away. Yeah, he caught in such, but Hamlin was in front of him. But hell, in front of Hamlin was a uh, Hyde. Hyde was hurt. 
That's why the reason why Hamlin was playing. Uh, no, per, you know, Demar. Oh, respect him because his situation. Yeah. He done got better, but you know, he wasn't a star. Well, they, they, to me, I look at that as we just deep, man. Yeah, he deep. Man. He, yeah. he made a play. Yeah, but but Josh Allen got first play. Him. He got to stop turning that ball. Yeah, he got to stop. But he, that's that's that Ben Roethlisberger effect. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. Let me tell you. Yeah, I hope Josh Allen watches us. Cause he he. I believe he's. Like I know you nice cuz, but I believe you, you believe in a little <laughs> bit of your own hype. Yeah, he believe in the Calm hype. Calm down and get that thing to Stefan did now. We're gonna win this. Yeah, he believe in the hype, man. But hey. Yeah, cause Tyree gone. I'm I rhyme with y'all now. What y'all think, man? Let, let, let's let's talk about this. Uh you were talking about earlier, friendships or relationships. Like which one is more important? I don't know what you meant by that. But well what I mean by it is is uh which one is more important, friendships or relationships? Because I know a lot what of you people. You mean like to your girl or just to people in general? Well, I mean, to your girl. Okay. As a man. Mm. Which one you think is more important? Because it's a lot of people that's in relationships, they ain't best friends. And it's people mm. that are best friends that are living uh, relationship lives but don't want the title. Mm. What you think of that? Shit, yeah, hell. Which one is better nowadays? Nowadays? Okay. You probably would rather be like... You gotta have something. You gotta be able to be friends with a motherfucker. Cause if you can't at least be like, what y'all gonna talk about? Mm. Like you gonna be bored or nigga, you you will want to be your friend with your significant other, whatever mm. it is. Cause hell, it just being like, I right, we just fuck with each other. Cause we other than that, if you ain't friends, you just all you is physically attracted. Mm. Maybe that's why it's a lot of divorces. Physical attraction. I just said it's a lot of people who together. You shouldn't be able to get married and just. That's if not you're friends. just only physically attracted to a person and you bury them, then you stupid any damn way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, you, you should want to be friends with that motherfucker you're going to lay down with. But what about the people who you're friends with this person, but that's, just, that's the furthest as they want your status to go? Meaning, yeah, we can, keep, we can do relationship things, but we're never going to have that title. Well, then. So can you really... And they may not they may not be doing nothing, but can you really trust that person? Rather than somebody who just wanna be with you no, they're telling for the you, trust, but no, they're, te- they're, yeah. they're they're leaving their options open. So they're telling you yeah. don't you can't trust them. Cause they say they're letting you know. See, niggas don't wanna take what's right in front of them. Motherfucker tell you, I I, I still wanna like bump uglies, but I don't wanna be in a relationship with you. They're telling you they still want to fuck <laughs> right. you, but they still want, they got their options, though. they can still do what they want to do. They ain't, they're not, it's not that. And this, this ain't but that, I do know people this. who don't have a title and they have very successful relationships just being cool, just being friends. But what is a successful relationship? Now, we, you don't go home with these people, so you don't know if they're success. You know what they're showing you. Right. That, see, that's another thing. Yeah. You can't judge something off a picture mm-hmm. or just when you're around because. Right. You don't know once they go home, they're not going to act the same way they act when they're in front of you if they got mm-hmm. respect for themselves. So true. You, like, you know, so I feel like sometimes people just don't really think about something. They just take shit on face value. And you got to you got to actually think like, all right, say me and my girl, we in here right now. We kick in, we all up on each other, we all hug up stuff. Yeah. And your mind like, damn, they just so in love. We, we, we. But say if we just putting that on for y'all. As soon as we go out there, though, like. Motherfucking bitch can't stand you. Don't have you. I have you come back over here no goddamn mojo. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't fuck with no motherfucker. Yeah. Like you don't know what really is going on. Is you just true. know what you're yeah. seeing. So if you're going off what you see and you're trying to base something off of yeah. that, you're stupid. That's like, like, but which but which one is more important? To which one would be more important? To be your to you to be, to be like, in a relationship or just I'm putting it to you like this. If I hear some some real some some not no not no bro code shit, mm-hmm. but I hear some like some just some some, some shit. I just hear some shit. First person I'm thinking to tell is my wife because that's my friend. That's my. Right. That's who I'm in the house with. I like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna be able to talk to her more than I would with somebody else. Cause you gotta charge the phone. I ain't gotta do nothing. I'm right here with this person. So that's you know you wanna be able to. T- if you can't sit there and talk about just current events with that person, like it's it's not even no purpose. Mm-hmm. I, I you gotta be friend with that mom. Yeah, you got, I, y'all gotta have something in common, or. You know what I'm saying? It gotta be something. I just, like Besides I said, I'm gonna let you say what you gotta say. I just think the issue is is that um people who don't people who want the title, to them, that's where they trust come from. People want a title because they want trust. But 
you know what I'm saying? That's not that, that's not gonna always do it. Like no, I say, I, like, I, like that's that's why I say. I mean, just because you're in a relationship, that don't mean that person that you with is your actual friend. Yeah, not even. You, you see about, what I'm saying? I, you say people want the title, but I say that fuck the title. So people you believe? In, so you, you believe in friendship you? more than relationship, basically. If you, yeah, you say I, fuck the title, right? Yeah, I'd rather be your friend for and then see where that can go instead of I'm just going. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. What yeah. you think, Sean? Uh, I think a motherfucker gotta be dumb as hell getting a relationship with somebody they ain't no friend with. You gotta be the most retarded son of a bitch <laughs> to get in a relationship with right. somebody yeah. and y'all ain't friends already. Real shit. That to me, that's crazy. That's number one. Number two, which one is better? You can't really say. I'm gonna be honest with you. In 2023, both of them are backstabbed the fuck out your ass. Ooh, that, yeah, that, facts, 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 yeah, yeah, that's real. 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 That's now, that, I will say, build, that might build loyalty right. instead of just love. Now, yeah. I will say, it's, it, that, that's my point. I will say it's better off to build a friendship so at least they will have some kind of hesitation when it comes to doing anything dirty to you. Because at least if y'all best friends or something like that, they to that point where they would think about, I ain't going to do that. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do yeah, skeet like true. that. I wouldn't do Greg like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Situation like that. A lot of these motherfuckers just get in a relationship too soon. Like, they, like I, I'm married. So okay. if I get mad at my wife, nigga, I'm not finna sit there. Like, we might cuss at each other. We might yeah. say, oh, fuck you or fuck you. But we're not finna sit here talking. Well, bitch, you ain't, I'm not finna do all that. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just drag them up. Hey, I, I, I hope she wouldn't do me. But, she, but like, you know what I'm saying? We're yeah. not finna low grade each other. Yeah. For other people's amusement. Because mm -hmm. another thing, my, mm -hmm. my pet peeve, I don't even like arguing in front of people with my woman. You know what I'm saying? Kyle? Yeah. But, but did your that, wife follow your lead? Huh? Did she follow your lead on that? Yeah. Like, for okay. us to argue in front of somebody, bro, it, it would brew before the argument even happened in front of the folks. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's my so, point, yeah. It ain't yeah. going to never be like, oh, we just sent that. And then we just got mad at each other. No, it's, it, it, was just, it was just that pin drop. Like, how did yeah. they get it? Just, that's, you know you got, what I'm saying? You got anything else on it, G? No. Let's get on one more thing before we get up out of here, man. Uh, Math Hop a couple weeks ago came out with the top hip hop groups of all time, man. Yeah, oh yeah. See, I oh, see y'all yeah. getting ready to. Okay. Yeah. He came out with this list, man. It kind of sparked a little, a little, a little back and forth on the internet, man. I sent it to both of y'all, man. So let's let, let, let's talk about that, man. He came out with the best hip hop groups of all time: Wu Tang Clan, number one, The Locks. Two, G Unit Three, Tri Car Quest Four, Outcast Five, Fuji Six, Run DMC Seven, Onyx Eight, Three Six Mafia Nine, Goody Mob Ten. I'm, he went on the Camp Low Eleven, Dipset Twelve, Das Effects Thirteen. We're not gonna go that far. We're just gonna do top ten. Let me just say this: Why in the hell, Mel Hopper, with all due respect, is Bone Thugs and Harmony not on this list? Not even in your top fifteen. Not even in 13. your not even in your top ten. Yeah. Let alone five. You got we missing UGK. We missing too. eight ball MJG. I agree with that too. Migos. Migos. I agree with that too. What 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 are we basing this list on? Because all shit, Migos, Bone Thugs, and Harmony, hell just don't sell. Ain't nobody fucking with them. I mean, ain't nobody fucking with Outcast, period. Right. Well, he, he they on the list though. Yeah, okay. I'm yeah, just talking about people who ain't right, on the right, list. Right, yeah. Right, 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 right. They hold this thing New York by. Now I give you call you from New York. I let you get Wu Tang out there. Not let you, and I love Jada Kiss. You know, I always say he top five dead of a lot. But yeah. you're not top two on rap group. <laughs> the lot, no, no. They're top, I can go for top ten, not top two. No. G Unit ain't even top ten. Stop it. Stop Why? That's what I was about to say. Why is G Unit? Unit? No, what? 50 Cent. If you're doing a single artist, yeah, I can go 50 Cent. Man, you better put G Unit uh, ain't no bigger than Wu Outcast on up there. You, you, can, you can slide down some Onyx. That's a fact. Let me get y'all my five. Camp, no, ain't ain't gonna no, even do it in no order. Let me, set, let me just. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nigga, I'm putting dip set up. <laughs> yeah. The goofy nigga ain't even got mob deep up here, bro. Ooh, and I ain't even from New York. I just, I just did that on you. You don't even got mob deep. But you got G unit. Gotcha. Greg, top he, five real quick. Hell, he could have put naughty, naughty by nature no, on top that. Top five, Greg. My top five. It's not in no order. But it's my right. top five. Outcast. Uh, Make it quick. Oh, my bad. Let me, let me hurry up. Outcast, Fuji's, Goody Mob, Bone Thugs, and Harmony. That's a tough one, 28 ball, MJ. I'll go with UGK. I just. I ain't mad at all. Yeah. Outcast. Yep. Tribe Called Quest. Ooh. Wu Tang. Gotcha. 
Fuji's, Migos. I ain't mad at that either. I don't think I'm gonna say it this, man. Migos should have been on him. Bone Thugs and Harmony should have been on him. Facts. UGK should have been mm-hmm. on him. Eight Bottom Digits should have been up here. Yep. Dipset should have been higher because they did more for the culture than almost everybody on this list, other than maybe Wu Tang and mm-hmm. Outkast. Dipset, we can't act like they didn't have no wave. Cameron had the whole world wearing pink. I just, yep. just be real. And he, they had New York completely Hold fucked. Up. Up when they was at their peak, yep. bro. The locks was never on Dipset. That's the reason why motherfuckers thought Dipset was gonna beat them. Then we, when we, you know, I was saying, I was like, mm-hmm. well, you know, I already hit my. The world thought yeah. Dipset was gonna beat them in that versus, bro. I wore pink. Outcast, bro. in my opinion, y'all can say we Atlanta buy should be yeah. number one, and I can go in many different ways. They sold more records than all these niggas. They yep. rap just as good as these niggas. Mm-hmm. Two man group on top of that. They came out the south, which is harder for a lot of these niggas. And y'all didn't believe in them in the way when it came to the source fucking no. war. Do what you need to do. But now we got some. We need to say. post this exactly. list on bad speakers, right? Mm-hmm. Now, when we come in here, bro, we got to have our top 13. Right oh, now. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And, and I guarantee it ain't going to be that crap. Hell right no. Now. My yeah. top five, I will go Outcast, Wu Tang Clan, um, uh, Three Six Mafia. I'm going to say Dipset and. Uh, and look, I, I'm saying this. Eight off, ball, I mean, uh, UGK. But I can okay. actually sit down and really think about it. This off the dome. But when I think about it, I guarantee my leg going to be still waiting. I get what? It might be different that time. Yeah. Who, who the say? Why we can't say Lil John and the East Side Boy? Yeah, I ain't think about that. Dang, boy, you, you went. It you is went, a group. Yeah. Group. They hey, had a man, wave too. We are Bad Speaker Podcast. Your boy, Sean. It's your boy, G Downs. Your neighbor, Skeet. And we out of yeah. here.